man with a gun. I don't know him either. Well, probably not, anyway. Now I'm not the kind of guy who can just stand back and watch a poor girl get shot, but I just have one little problem. I'm already dead myself. This has got to be no question about that. After all, do you see any other dead bodies lying around here? Say so long, sister. I feel bad for her, sure, but what can I do? I'm dead! But just as I was thinking this... There's no time to be lolling around dead. You're the only one who can save her. But what in the world though? The whole world just changed on me. Speaking of the whole world changing on me, let me just fix this. Damn you, DS. Inconsistent goddamn <laughs> in screens. I like this. I like music in this already. It's pretty soft. Almost there. Oh, um, no, nope, that's not, that's not the one. A little, little more, a little more, yeah, it's, yeah, it's coming. Yeah, there you go, get in there. Alright. Mine? No. Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. A voice in my head, who are you? Oh, that should probably be a different voice. I don't know. I know what a ghost world voice would be. No time in for introductions now, you have to save her. I know you can do it, all you have to do is use your powers. Huh? Me, save her. How? Take a look at your corpse. Do you see that blue flame? That's your soul! And do you see that bright white spot nearby? That's a core. Hey, Chris. Core? Hmm, this looks like a railway crossing gate to me. Look, the best way to understand is just to try it. First of all, try touching your soul. Hey, Kate, how you doing today? Congratulations! Your soul has now possessed the crossing gate. So, what? Now I'm a... Crossing gate. Ahem. Now then, use the crossing gate to save the woman. But, but, how? Good bot is here. How dare you, Chris? How dare you say such a thing about Quody? Quody that never even left us. In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. That will be your chance. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? So before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. Uh, hey, hey, wait wait a sec, I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. Now then, time will start to flow again. Rip. I see, I'm a ghost that does tricks. Well played! Uh, what has happened? That was one of your powers at work, eh? Ghost trick. You mean I made that crossing gate move? That's right, you manipulated that object with the power of the dead, eh? Ghost trick. And all you have to do to perform a trick like that is touch the trick button. Now the woman's face fate has changed, albeit just a little. Yeah, she still kind of has a gun pointed at her. Yes, hmm, that's not good, is it? But at least now you're starting to figure out how to use your powers. 
So enter the ghost world with ghost. Possess an object, then perform a trick with it, huh? Now you're getting it. Let's move on to the next step. Try possessing a different core. Uh, everyone knows a guitar is the correct thing to do. I see, a guitar then, is it? Um, hey, what do you want from me? I would have preferred that giant wrecking ball, but that would, so that would solve the problem real quick, I bet. But I guess I can't reach cores that are too far away. Well, I guess we'll see what we, we can do with that guitar. Let's set time in motion again and find out. Let me try that again. Hold it. Uh, it's gotta be some... It's got, that's gotta be some of the slowest running away I've ever seen. Hmm, looks like I'm gonna have to come up with something more. Let's see, what car is close enough for me to possess from here? I guess all there is is... me? No time to be picky, got a woman to save. Never wanted to be in that shitbag of a body again. I like your attitude, it's admirable. Truly, but... But what? If I can know if you had objects, then I ought to be able to make my own corpse, right? Well, tell you what, why don't you just try it and see? Go ahead and possess your corpse. I'm pretty sure it makes it just a white space, doesn't it? Oh, it does do the X's. Alright, now we'll set time in motion. I'm just gonna shit myself like a dead person. Okay, go ahead and try the trick button. Huh? Nothing's happening. Exactly. Sad but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. Corpses, even if they aren't alive anymore, aren't really just ordinary things. You gotta be kidding. Wait, what about the woman? What's happening to her? Let's take a look, shall we? If you want to take a look around, you can slide the screen. Slide the screen. It's easy. Here, give it a try. Boop. Well, sister, this is it. Your thing's looking pretty dim right now. My side and your future. Well, I guess she wasn't important. Good. Out my way. Trees would be a living object, Chris. It wasn't non-sentient objects, it was no living objects. I saved the girl, I did. I was very successful. It's done. I'm on my way. Oh, I'm much more comfortable now. Excellent. In the end, it looks like her fate remains unchanged. So what good are these ghost tricks of... Oh. In the end, it looks like her fate remains unchanged. So what good are these ghost tricks of mine? But just as I was thinking this... Is this just gonna be raiding her story all over again? Except less... Time children of non-Euclodia and more lamps? Hello there, how are you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy, what happened tonight? Ah, ignoring me, are you? It's a little too early for you to be going stiff and cold, I'd say. That was you. You were the voice in my head, right? Well, I wouldn't say voice exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. It's more like my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. That's another little trick ghosts can do. Looks like my ghost tricks didn't do much good. Nah, it's perfect. You still end up just as dead as before. That's true. For now. For now. I still have more to teach you about the powers of the dead. Your ghost tricks. Who exactly are you, anyway? Before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty young woman lying here like a discarded piece of trash? What can I do? She's already dead. Why can't I talk to her soul? Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, I'll have you possess me. Possess you, huh? 
What is the brave little toaster? Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your powers. Why am I so determined to save this one? After all, it's not like I know her. I guess I'll take the desk lamp up on its invitation anyway. What else am I meant to do? My reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type to leave women lying around discarded like trash. Number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. Time to get revenge on Mayor. Touch. That thought bubble you just touched, those are your thoughts, what you're saying to yourself in your head. My thoughts, huh? The dead don't have voices, and what we think is communicated directly to one another. So these thought bubbles are sort of a stand-in? I think I'm starting to get it. Brave Little Toaster was a book series that made into an animated movie. Plural animated movies. I think so too. Just remember to always keep an eye out for thought bubbles. Okay, good idea. Might get some important clues from them. Now then, in order to possess me, you're first, you're, you first have to enter the ghost world. And the ghost button is your ticket in. The best thing to do is to try it. The ghost button, I guess I'll give it a little touch. Eh. By the way, have you taken a look at the top screen? What about it? It tells you what trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. The information is there for you to check out whenever you need it. In the case of folding cut, it looks like I can... Unfolding cut it. Hey Kishara, that's awesome that you're a new streamer. How are you liking it so far? I might be able to use Eleanor to ghost trick. Eh, it's fine. <laughs> Using it all just stylus is a okay with me. You first have to return to the land of the living. Oh, okay. This time, the back button was your ticket out of the ghost world. Well, good luck, we're counting on you. Huh? Who's this we? God? Are you a lamp? Huh? That's funny. What's this? My corpse and her corpse. There's definitely something different about the two. There's something emanating from my corpse. That's because you're special. What's that supposed to mean? Not everybody who dies gets special powers, you know. So those waves are because of my powers of the dead, huh? Anyway, <laughs> moving on swiftly. Congratulations, you passed. That's good to hear, Kishar. Well, what do you know? What prize do I get? A new power, what else? Another one. Now let's review. You can possess objects and manipulate them, right? I'm guessing you started by streaming Pokemon? Otherwise, what, uh, what did you begin with? Now what do you propose will suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? Nothing, because I already tried that, remember, and nothing happened at all. True, you don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse, but you can at least be inside this lady, isn't that nifty? However, there is something else you can do. Oh yeah, what's that? You can steal her things. Why don't you try it and see? What's this? Can you hear me? Wait a minute, what's going on here? Hmm, looks like she's unconscious, poor thing. Unconscious, but she's dead. Yes, but think back, remember when you died? When you came to your senses, you'd been unconscious too. Unconscious, huh? Come to think of it, that desk lamp is right. When I came to, I was already dead. Let's leave her like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life. Oh sure, you make it sound so easy. And it is easy. When you use your powers on a corpse, you can go back to the past of the... 
who had died four minutes before that person's death. Are you serious back through time? That's right, but there's a catch. It only works on new corpses, corpses that have been for less than a been dead for less than one day. And she's still well within that limit. You might want to try and you might want to give it a try before it's too late. But this is crazy, none of this makes any sense. We're talking about the powers of the dead here. It doesn't have to make sense. Now then let's go, shall we? To the time four minutes before this woman was murdered. Hey, wait wait, wait a second, I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. Rewind time. And so now I'm going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes alive. Not as a fuzzy distant memory of the past, but as a very real living present. So the explanation I need, Kate. Wake up, are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no, he's dead! Who are you? Here's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. You did this, you killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing who done it, right now you ought to be more concerned about your own fate. Are you some sort of hitman? What do you want with me? They said we had to rub out all the last traces of Temzik left in this country. Temzik? What in the world is that? Beats me, I just do what I'm told. All I know is you've got nowhere else to run. Time to die, sister. As long as that bad boy wrecking ball stays right up there where it belongs. Look, all I know, all I want to know is, who are you? You don't know me and I don't know you. This is just business. I feel like I should smash him with a wrecking ball. So long, sister. Hold it. Who's there? Oh, so it does all the events they've already done. That's kind of clever. A shotgun, kind of a flashy weapon for Hitman, don't you think? Not flashy, just thorough. They call me nearsighted Jigo. But I never let my prey get away. Ever thought about just buying a pair of glasses? Well, sister, this is it. Two things looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. That seemed a little... That was a little short for four minutes, I think. And there you have it, the last four minutes of her life. No. Oh. Kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with by fate and a man toyed with by a ghost. But she still died. Yes, and you can change that with your ghost tricks. Just like you did four minutes ago. Possess and manipulate a eh? ghost and then trick. And you can rewind these four minutes as many times as you like to. You giant fuck up. Now then, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. This is four minutes ago. Fine, I get that. But what am I doing way down here? That's just how it works. Her corpse was your gateway into the past, after all. So naturally, your starting point is where her corpse was. You could say that every time they die, I have to do a corpse run. And this is where she died. Okay, I get it now. Up in, then. There are only four minutes left before she dies. You'd better try and get to her as fast as you can. There's no time to lose. So I'm actually on a timer? I was kind of hoping that everything would pause. And I could just take forever like I normally do. The last seconds of her life are counting down. Looks like I better get up there first. That's right, have a look at the top screen. The top screen, huh? The sand in the top of that timer is how much time she has left. Oh, I thought that was still on the bottom screen. Get to her quickly before all the sand is gone. 
Up you go then. Oh, it doesn't move when I'm possessing shit. Roll the tire, I can do sweet fuck all with a mannequin. Opening a fridge. This this seems like a neat idea. Everything going on in this game it seems like a cool puzzle game so far. Uh oh, that time's running out. Oh, I'm gonna blow the flag. Ha, <laughs> physics. I've made a mistake. That doesn't help at all. I can suck up the flag in my blender? And then... Soft lock myself? I guess. It could be an option. Done. If I'd hopped into the flag, it would've taken me up. Timing is important too when it comes to ghost tricks. There's that fact. You can touch the ghost and trick buttons anytime you want. So keep an eye out for the ghost button even when you're manipulating. So I can press whatever button is being displayed on screen any time, huh? So once you get the blender and fan going at the same time, that's your chance. You ought to be able to go move the flag to move to the flag by then. You just have to find the right timing. Wait, was that not long enough? Or it does it? So does it? Okay. You have to stay in an object for it to do a thing. Oh, is the fucking blender not on? Well. Sorry, redhead chick. I guess you're dead. I can do it infinitely, an infinite amount of time, so if you'll get it eventually. You know I have tenacity. It'd be fun. Now's your chance to change your fate. There isn't much time left. There's coming. This is coming down to a battle of seconds. I wonder if she gets like a new four minutes when I successfully do this. Damn it! What's going on here? Near sighted Jago never misses as long as the target's within point blank range. It looks like you made it in time, just barely. Yep, she's still alive. Not in range. And in that split second, Hope was born. Just now, her fate was changed, albeit ever so slightly. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! That bridge is up? Why is there a bridge in a junkyard? I bet you're wondering what's over there, what's going on over there, right? Oh, that's right, if I want to look I can slide the camera. 
Exactly, and by the way, you can also use the bear to you do the same thing. Use whichever way is easiest for you. No, I'm good, I'm just good. Oh, well, whatever this thing does. You hear some. Wait, what? My glass didn't say anything. What are you talking about? Boop. Boop. I'm gonna murder this man. <laughs> As a ghost, I'm about to crash a man with a wrecking ball. Alrighty. I'm okay with this. Did a good thing today. <laughs> How does it feel to save a lady's life? And take a man's. So the danger's gone? Yes, it looks like the danger, Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. Use your powers to avert that woman's fate. So I did all that, huh? You most certainly did. And I knew you could do it. So I lost my life tonight and saved somebody else's life. That doesn't seem like a fair trade at all. Be about none of this. When I came back to the prison, it was raining. I'd saved the life of this stranger, now sitting forlornly in the rain. Even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end, Stranger, a word strikes a chord, and a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. I can't recall a thing. Who am I? What is this place? Most important of all... Why was I killed? Probably for your tremendous hair gel. Your story isn't over yet. Uh, who exactly are you anyway? Just call me Ray. As in Ray of Light in the Darkness. Haha. <laughs> Ray, huh? So you aren't gonna tell me your real name, I take it. You haven't told me your name yet either, actually. I, I, I can't remember. Yes, I get the, guess the memories of the newly departed tend to get a bit confused. The most get our memories bad, others never do. But if you ask me, it doesn't really matter. After all, there's only one path left for the dead, and that is to disappear. D disappear? When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. But what? Tomorrow morning? But wait a minute, these powers of the dead? Yes? I'd like to use them to save somebody else's life. And whose life might that be? Uh... You don't have to ask? Mine. My, uh, me. Ah, I see. But think about it this way. If we could use ghost tricks to save ourselves, wouldn't I have tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me. I'm a desk lamp. Why is it... Why a desk lamp, anyway? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. But in any case, it seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. You're kidding. Why don't we just use it on each other's corpses? Tag team this. You'll only exist in this world until tomorrow morning. I'm afraid that fact can't be changed. There's really no way of escaping my own death. Oh my. In the morning, I'm going to cease to exist. Apparently, there's nothing I can do to change that. But it's the same, I still want to know. I want to know my story, the lost story of my fate right up until the time of my death. And until I learn that... You won't be able to rest in peace, right? Very well, I understand how you feel. If you want to go and learn the truth about your death as well, you should. I will, but let's see. How should I go about doing that, I wonder? I can't even imagine what the first step would be. The first step, that's easy, you start with her.
personally witnessed your death. You should have some important clues, don't you think? Hey, you're right. Not only that, she might even know who I am. Yes, I'd say there's a very good possibility of that. What's I doing here tonight in a place like this? Someone probably knows the answer. Just dumpster diving. He just wanted an old CRT TV so he could play an N64 on it in the right resolution. That's right, never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. Key to everything? What do you mean? You'll know soon enough when you regain your memory. Yeah, I'm like a blank sheet of paper right now. You probably keep some kind of record of everything I learned tonight. That's a very good idea. Touch the bed to view a record of what you've learned and be sure to check it out now and again. Memories aren't always the most reliable things after all. Alright then, I wish you good luck. But oh, what of you, lamp friend? He's gonna be here forever? Shimmy. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pedal it to try and get the wheel to go. Oh, so then you push the back wheel. Makes much more sense. Let me just shimmy this bicycle downwards. <laughs> I better not let her out of my sight. And besides, I'm not the kind of guy who can just let a woman sit sneezing in the cold rain. I think I'll try to move closer. How oddly convenient and thoughtful. What in the world just happened? The cream moved all by itself and then that big iron ball fell all by itself. It started raining all by itself and then the umbrella came down all by itself. Oh my goodness! You didn't tell me I have a psychokinetic powers! Oh, better just go mosey on into my life then with these telekinetic powers. In. My cat came back this morning at like 10 a.m. or something after being out all night. I think that is he got trapped somewhere because his meows were not his normal meows. So either an identical cat that isn't ours came back, or he was very hoarse for a cat. Hmm, looks like she's saying something to herself, but unfortunately I can't hear it from here. That's no problem for ghosts like us, as long as you use your targets not too- as long as your target's not too far away. Just like you do with your own thought bubbles, if you touch the thought bubbles of the living, you can listen to what they are saying. May just take a little listen then. Always watch for thought bubbles of the living. They might give you some important clues. But seriously, what in the world just happened? Gotta steal this guy's wallet. You don't need no more. What's this? I don't know. I want to see that note. I wonder what I wrote in it. Hopefully it's not just a shopping list or something. Yeah, that one helps. Should I check it out? The trick is to examine. Did I write this note? Maybe I should give it a read. You don't remember writing it, eh? No, I don't remember writing it, but even more importantly... Something, something, death note. <laughs> hmm, I didn't get a chance to read the note. Hey, Raptor, how are you going today? Not to interrupt your train of thought, but I wonder if you've realized where this telephone call is coming from. Huh? How'd I know that? Think back. Before you helped her avert her fate, didn't a phone call come in at, this, at around this time, too? Oh, yeah.
that telephone call. Exactly. In other words, at this very moment, on the other end of that telephone line, is the culprit who ordered your murder. What? Exodia was like the first deck that I made Raptor because it's very cheap. <laughs> and it's a pretty good controllish combo deck. I recommend you possess the telephone. Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your goose tricks. Can I go through the telephone line? Then I saw him right there on the other end of the line. I saw the face of the man who ordered me dead. Is this done? Speak up, man. Did you get her? Who is this? Hmm, yes, a thousand pardons, my dear lady. I must have died the wrong number. Haha. <laughs> Trying to see the other line. That's him, huh? The man who stole my life? That's right, so what do you think? Would you like to go see him? Oh, they can go through telephone lines. You better believe I would. Then you would do well to listen to me! We ghosts exist by possessing inanimate objects, however. There's one way we can move from place to place over great distances. And that would be... The dead can jump from point A to point B by moving over phone lines. Say what? Man, they must fucking hate mobiles. Ghosts have become a lot less effective in the modern day age. They were also a bit shit in medieval times. I've done all I can do to help you. You'll have to do the rest yourself. You're not coming with me? I'm afraid not. I'm a lamp. This is my desk. I live here. My powers have grown weak. I've already used up most of my remaining strength just to get here tonight. But I had to come to ask for your help. My help. Many mysterious things will happen in this town tonight. I'm trusting in I'm trusting in you to get to the bottom of them and find out the truth. You're the only one who can do it. I want you to use your powers of the dead to find this truth. I'm grateful for everything you've done, but I can't promise I'll help. Tomorrow morning I cease to exist. Doesn't give me a whole lot of time. I need to pursue my own mystery, find out the truth about myself. That's more than enough. Huh? If you succeed in doing that, you'll have done what I asked anyway. The two are one and the same. One and the same? Hmm. Teslam knows a whole lot more than he's telling me. Now then, from that call a moment ago, you now have the culprit's telephone number. The rest is up to you. Yeah, it turns out Edison was just really into the occult. Who would have thought? Not Edison, Bell. And by Bell I mean whoever he stole the idea for the telephone off. And so the story of the search for myself begins, a story that will last one night only. Tomorrow morning I'll cease to exist and I'm surprisingly okay with this fact. I have to find the answers before the sun comes up. Why was I killed? And what exactly is going to happen in this town tonight? That's some Phoenix ass, ass ass music right there. Phoenix right ass music. Those are the words I wanted to say. Who am I? Why was I killed? The one who is sure to know the answers to those questions is the man who ordered my murder. At the other end of the phone line is the very man who had me killed. Our meeting is all so sudden, I'm not sure I'm really prepared for what's to come. Yes, if I want to, if what I've read in this file is true, that woman could be quite a bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased tonight. Confound that nearsighted Jago. His skills are feeble as his eyesight. Not to worry, sir. I've already taken the next step, sir. I kind of feel like he should be more proper, kind of like a deep voice telephone guy. Hmm, yes, but I say, the last thing I have expected was to talk to the target herself. Even if it was the only, even if it was only over the telephone. I must admit, my good man, it put me in quite the dizzy there for a moment. Bah ha ha! What is this place? 
His oddly luxurious furnishings, oddly refined music, and that odd little machine. Never seen a room like this before. But one thing's for sure. These people are assassins. And what's more, that red-headed woman is another of their targets. That file the old man has. You know, give it us some... Maybe it'll give me some information on my redhead. I should go look at the book to see what it tells me. Oh, it's about the people. And Browd Villain. Those are very large grapes. The man who gave nearsighted... The man who gave nearsighted Jago the order to kill. He's probably behind my death. Oh, it is me reading them. I thought I was just absent narrator. And the red-headed woman's death too, but his motives are unknown. Right, so this is how it works. Gonna come up with uh, characters and they have info attached to them. Mm, yes, how much longer, my good man? We are charging up our backup power now, sir. The process should be complete in about 30 minutes, sir. Mm, yes, but confound that Jago, I say. Every year his reliable range gets shorter and shorter. He'll get coal in his next pay envelope, confound it. Or might I suggest glasses in his envelope instead, sir? Sick burn. Can you actually die slash fail in this adventure? You definitely can fail. Because when you fail, you go back in time to go and fix it. it. Seems this file contains information about that redhead, but I can't read it when it's closed. Great Scott, did, did, did you see that? The file, I say. The file reared up and snapped at me, my good man. Nearly bit off my head. Not to worry, sir. I've already seen to it that that target, Miss Lin, is no longer a threat, sir. Bye, that's not what I'm talking about, a man. Hmm, Lin, eh? So that's her name, is it? But this file, it's like it's written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. The dead don't get the power of multilingualism. How unfortunate. Might I suggest putting away that file and relaxing, sir? Oh god, no! I really like the animation in this game. It's so unnecessary. You have a very important job ahead of you tonight, sir. Done. The pickle the phone and I got put away neatly. Anything thing I've learned is the name Lin. It sure is a weird room. I travel through the phone line to get here, but where exactly is here? And who exactly are these people? Oh, well that's obvious who they are. We have, um... Masked Muscle Man and, of course, Eyebrowed Villain. Duh. Bam. Operate the projector. Egad, man, you trying to give me a case of the vapors? My apologies, sir, but I did not touch it, sir. Because the equipment is still malfunctioning, sir. Ah, granted, technology is certainly a convenient thing, but our use of it is just plain off confounded. Hmm, yes, in any case. I don't wish to see the face of our current target, my good man. As you wish, sir. In that case, might I suggest this, sir? C-tier wrestler. Hey, that's... Hmm, yes, Sissel. If all goes well with our deal tonight, we'll have the power to change the world, sir. Hmm, yes, it is very important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. That is why we can't afford to trust that Sissel. No, we must... Be very careful. Thistle, that must be my name. What a dumb name. Now that I hear it, it does sound familiar. Along with a weird resentment for my parents because of high school. 
thought I got called Sizzle a lot. I think. It's all blurry. A deal, huh? What could that be about? What exactly was I up to, I wonder? I'm one of the bad guys. Just less blue. We're completely prepared for tonight, sir. Swishel. Mm, yes, now all we have to do is pluck the fruit of success. Ha <laughs> One thing's clear, these villains seem to know me, and another thing, there seems to be some kind of connection between me and this Lin. Why else would our names both come up like this? Where's your head, man? I told you I wish- I don't wish to see this face. My apologies, sir. It appears to be another malfunction, sir. We'll get it fixed, man, unless you want me to mal malfunction. Certainly, sir. You guys murdered me and now they're targeting the redhead. What kind of connection did we have with each other? I'm sure this thought bug will tell us. I say, this room is giving you the heebie-jeebies, my good man. What with paintings spinning around and the like, it's enough to give a man the jitters. My apologies, sir. The room was just completed recently, sir. We're still trying to find out the kinks, sir. You'd hope that a recently finished room would be working best. Hmm, yes, I just hope that's all it is. I mean, a gad man. How am I supposed to relax and enjoy my grapes? Miserable state of affairs when I can't even can even be startled by a telephone that doesn't even ring. Gad. The more so pathetic to be startled by the same telephone twice, bah. Problem must be solved, sir. The Miss Lynn problem, sir. What Lynn? Hmm, yes, you did mention taking the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? Yes, sir, I sent one step ahead. Tango to our apartment, sir. That telephone call must be him reporting in, sir. Very good, very good. Lynn is in danger again. Away we go! This is one step ahead, Tango. I'm at the target department now. And out with it, man! Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? Then he stands to reason. The target here. If the target got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead now, would they? I don't get it, but in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to the head of the Hitman division. Ah, no, man, now you're even getting one step ahead of me. We can discuss my new salary later. Great, Scott, now you're even getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead. I'll get back to my job now, sir. Didn't Fanny even hang on for one step ahead? What did he say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some nearsighted Joe Jago's pay. Lynn, can't lose her, she's my only lead if I ever hope to solve the mystery of me. Did you murder her dog? That dead puppy? 
The telephone, line guide, the telephone line guided me to Lin's apartment. Fortunately, Lin isn't here yet, but unfortunately, the hitman is. And there are a couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Hmm. Looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. Oh, so it's Christmas time? <laughs> and an even unlucky little Dougie. Poor brave little warrior. He must have been trying to defend his mistress. If Lynn came home now, I have to do something about this situation and fast. And I saved the doggy's life. Huh? Where am I? More to the point, who am I? Oh, that's the dog. Who am I? Uh, are you talking to me? Of course, do you see anyone else around here? Remember the right, the dead don't have voices, their thoughts reach the other person directly? I guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress's apartment, and you are presuming the little doggy who died here? I feel like that's not the right voice for the dog. There should be a correct comical voice for the dog. It isn't like a slightly higher pitched Scooby Doo. But I don't know what. I don't know what a, a dog voice would be. I wish I knew more of his personality. Is it even a boy? Died, so he died, so I'm dead, huh? Let's see, the dead lose their memories, they even forget what they look like. And so that's what this blue flame shape is all about? Oh! There's no time to lose! Miss Chlamydia, my Miss Chlamydia is in trouble. You mean you remember? You know who you are? That's right, I'm Missile. Nice to meet you. I'm a Pomeranian. Well, I guess now I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thanks to this little doggy. Miss Camellia, Miss Camellia! My Miss Camellia is in trouble, and I vowed to devote my life to protecting her. But I died before I could rescue her. How could I let me, her down like this? The same dog as Ace Attorney 1? You're more worried about your mistress's safety than your own death, huh? I like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's time to go back to four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save this his... this his life? Guys, read that right. That was also Pomeranian. Let's see, first of all, I'd better see what I can find out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, but what exactly... where exactly are we? Huh? You followed me? I followed you, brought me with you, one or the other. Hmm, it looks like the dead can move around together. This is the land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're really here? That means you're going to save Miss Camellia, doesn't it? Aren't you even surprised? I mean, we just travelled through time and... Not especially. I mean, Miss Camellia can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. So if she can do that, then it's not so strange that you can walk backwards through time. So that's the way your mind works, huh? Reasonable enough. Come on, come on, let's get started. Okay, first we watch your last four minutes unfold. Then we use what we learned to save Camellia. Just like when I saved Lynn at the junkyard. If we watch closely, we ought to be able to get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course. Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues. I like this dog. I found the remote! I found my gumshoe. Got that mud up. Hey, Miss O, you're not supposed to bark. I like me because I was crabby than ever tonight. 
If it barks again, I'll knock this wall down. You don't want to knock the wall down, do you, boy? Why do you like to bark so much anyway? Sure, I'll keep it. Just don't get us killed, okay? Man, I really wanted to watch TV too. Hey, I know. I'll listen to music. Hey, Missile, you're real shitty, you know that? Oops, oops, oops. Oh, that was close. Wireless headphones that are apparently just always going? I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. What most girls say every night. I'll knock this wall down. Hmm, I don't really like it when it jobs outside the original scope crop up. I have to put it down as a separate charge, and accounting never likes that. But I guess it can't be helped, sorry kid. Puppy, no! That's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes before you died. Wow, look at that! I'm dead! I'm kind of shocked to tell the truth. Okay, let's get started on saving her. Let's see, how are we gonna do this? Seems to me the easiest way would be for you to take a big bite out of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to say to them is, Welcome! I can't help it. Okay, then I guess the only thing we can do is to get the little lady to help herself somehow. Who don't think she can do that? Do you notice her putting those red things on her head? Red things? I mean headphones. If she puts those red things on, that's it. I call her name until my throat is sore, but she never hears me. To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things. Hmm, you're right. Those headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. Maybe that's our first lead. Now we know we have to do something about that. Door, dial a telephone. Bella. So close. You almost knocked those red things down. Hey, I think you're under something there. If we drop them in the fish tank, Camellia won't be able to use them anymore. Oh, I can finally kill the Camellia! I did it! I'm gonna beat my first fan game. Sick! But if you drop them in the fish tank, Miss Camellia will get a scolding from Miss Lynn. All you have to do is pretend it was your fault. That's the way of the honorable warrior. Okay, but you obviously never seen Miss Lynn when she gets mad. Well, can't really change the lady's fate just by staying around watching. Entrude and Black will be entering this room in just four short minutes. My ghost trick's gonna get me so far. If I wanna save the little lady, I'm gonna have to get her cooperation. First step is to get rid of anything that might get in the way. So I'm either meant to take her out of the knees when she almost drops the headphones, or I'm meant to do this. Is this like a fast forward button? Guess I'd better rewind the clock again and see if I can pick up any other clues. Yeah. This is the first camellia, so it sucks and doesn't mean it. Hey, Miss Lane, it's supposed to bug! Oh, this is just gonna be the same thing that I saw last time. This isn't good. Miss Camellia is going to put those red things on her head. Yeah, I know, and once she gets them on, it's all over. 
I can be able to hit our thing. What can I do? I mean, while we're here, I may as well try this one. Oops, oops! Ow! Oh, why is this acting up all of a sudden? I don't really like getting smacked by doors, especially my own house. I think the door is a bad dog, biting the hand that feeds it. Although with missile, it's more nibbling at the tip of my nose than my hand. So am I meant to use the bridge or the umbrella? I'm gonna go with fridge. Oh god, it doesn't work. those headphones too. How about if we tell her you did a missile? Good puppy. Yeah, now I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. Forgive me, Miss Camellia. I'm only doing to save you. So what? Now you think you're one of the gods, huh? Ah, no, ne ne never, never mind that. The important thing is we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. question is, what do we do now? Unless we do something more, the outcome will be the same. Only if- if o oh, if only I had a big strong teeth and an aggressive spirit. Hmm, doesn't seem like we can stop the hitman from coming in, so in that case... Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we hide Miss Camellia? Hide, huh? Sounds just like the kind of idea a little doggy would come up with. You're making fun of me. But where could we hide? Where could a little lady hide in this room? Hmm, I think I might just have the place. There's just one little problem. How to get Miss Camellia in there, right? Exactly. If I could possess Camellia herself, the answer would be easy. But I can't do that, so I guess the only way to do it is to lead her there. Now what can I do using the objects in this room? I think I'll try out various things and see what I can come up with. And I'll be here watching, cheering you on. So I can't... Go in the donut that I just fed to the rat to get a, like, free carry? Wait, does the rat come here if I rock this thing again? Miss so if you bark like that, you'll make the lady next door start howling. Keep this up, that wall is gonna come down our heads before we know it. You protect me if anything bad happens, right, Missa? Of course I will. That's quite a big promise for a little fellow. A little guy's up against some formidable opponents. Man in black and the woman in purple. Oh, so I got her to walk up and then she came back to where the donuts were. Why do you always give me give your mistress so much trouble? Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. But when that little guy starts squeaking, it gets me all up in an uproar. And when I bark, Miss Camille always comes over and gives me a nice hug. Hmm. We might be able to take advantage of that piece of information. Ah, uh, how? Wherever the donut falls, the rat shows up to check it out. And then you go to bark at the rat. Then our little lady comes to you to quiet you down. Yes, that's just the way things work, I'm afraid. So in other words, the donut can be the bait that will lead the little lady to where we want her. Can't make another donut fall. Hmm, what do we do now? That the donut, the squeak guy won't come and I won't bark. Hmm, it looks like only one donut will fall, but the donut's the only bait that will lead the little lady to where we want her. Maybe I should rethink my plan of attack. So does that mean I need to do this again, or I need to find out another way to do donuts? Eh. What is this? Thing? 
shut that mud up! Merry Christmas. You bark like that, how can anybody enjoy the pretty melody? Your poor mistress had to get up and quiet you down every time. Yes, I truly am embarrassed by human behavior. Hey, look at that. One of the ornaments fell off the tree. I'm not interested in things like that. I graduated from playing with balls a long time ago. You should try graduating from needless barking, too. Sorry, that's the one thing I could just never give up. I could never get into that ornament, though. I can hit it. Whoopsies, whoopsies! I'm sorry! What exactly are you barking about, anyway? Well, just look at it, it's so sparkly and glittery and it turns around and around. Besides, it plays that exciting music. What else can I do but bark? Tell me this, then. Exactly what are you thinking when you bark like that? Well, let's see. That time there, if I had to put my feelings into words, I'd say they were... Welcome! Guess that about sums it up. I guess it's the kind of feeling I'll never quite understand. Rock of painting. Not enough there. Why is her lamp already- oh, because it got knocked over. Oh yeah, her slamming into the wall. Wow, he sent that thing flying! I like to tidy up by shoving eyesores under the sofa. <laughs> hey, how come you're looking at me when you say that? Hey, wait a minute. Under the sofa, huh? That might be a spot the hitman wouldn't look. Come to think of it, Miss Camellia climbs under the sofa all the time, trying to catch me. You're a nasty little doggy, aren't you? That is a large gap under a sofa. Like, I can't think of the last time I saw a sofa with, like, high legs like that. It doesn't sound like it'd have much cushioning. Or springs. So my new plan is to hide the little lady under the sofa. The only problem now is how do I lead her under there? Just too fat, it's flush with the ground almost. <laughs> um, what else can I do then? I have to somehow, like, go back in time and make the rat go under the sofa instead? Is there any way for me to get up to that top thingy? So you can't look, when you're in the, uh, the scrolling across thingy, you can't look at objects that you can get inside of. Okay, what's over the other side then? Where'd the donuts go? Thing I have to reset. I think that it is, uh, forcing me. I think it's just one giant fluffy tail. Sonic's the first thing that you think of? I guess I hate Sonic, so I would never think of old miles per hour. But, uh... I think of Pokemon first. Nine Tails from Pokemon.
Yeah, it does kind of have separate tails. You're not wrong. You're not wrong about that one. Uh... Oh, so it's gonna hit the donut to the fridge, right? And then I use the fridge to flick it. As you do, Kate. As you do. I should think about the next time that I get a big old dozen of donuts. To put those things in a bowl. Poor Mousy. Miss Oh No. What are you doing under here, you silly boy? Oh, my little Miss Oh, you're always doing the cutest things. Let me smother the dog real quick. Nobody's here, eh? I really like the animations in this. They're, they're so unnecessary with how many frames they have to them. My prey is bound to come home sometime. Might as well make myself comfortable in the meanwhile. With my sniper rifle. My donut. There, our little lady's fate has been averted. It has? Poor thing is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. Well, yeah, that's true, but you're alive, idiot. It's not so bad in the scheme of things, I say she's just fine. Yeah, I was thinking that case. Like, is it gonna make me wait for this to play out so that I do this just before he arrives? But no, just do it in the right order and it seems to be okay. And look, you're not dead! Oh, you're right, we did it, we did it, didn't we? We did it! Well, to be precise, you're the one who did it. Huh? Me, I, I saved Miss Camellia. You're goddamn right it is, Soph. I'm part of that. I did that. I reviewed it. Me! I... It was my first Steam review. I had to figure out how to do it. I had to play it for five minutes. And I was like, Oh! It's fucking good, hey! And I was like, fuck yeah! Yep. Also, uh, there's another card game that clearly, like, paid Steam to get, like, front page advertisement. The exact same day that Shadowverse came out. And, uh, fuck that game. How dare it. On my turf like that. Now officially her bot account. You want to let her under the sofa, right? I know, where is this taking place for it to be called a sofa? Like, we call it sofa. Brits call it sofa. But this all seems American to me. And 50% positive? Yeah, fuck that other card game. Get shit on. You protect your mistress, I can attest to that. Sofa's common in America, really? Do you use it for a specific kind of couch? Or a Davenport of some kind? Or just interchangeable? Oh. Oh, thank you! Sofa's not coming all? Eh, I want something to do. Can I ask a question? Sure, what is it? What exactly are those strange powers of yours? Oh, you mean my ghost tricks? Apparently they're the power to manipulate inanimate objects. Sofa and couch are like soda and pop. Sorry, I said eh. But let's define regionally. If they're ghost tricks, then I can do them too. I'm dead too, after all. I guess that's how it goes, right? No, they said I was special. The lamp said I was special. I've been staring at those donuts as hard as I could for a long time now, but they won't budge for me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't really know. I guess you just don't have that power. Well, I have one thing to say to that. That's not fair. 
Sorry, but I guess not everybody who dies get the powers of the dead. Also, you're alive now, so shut up. What is gonna happen to me now? Nothing really, your death has been erased. You'll just go back to being a happy little doggy, living your everyday life. Guess this means goodbye. What? We'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, maybe, if you die again. What you did for me tonight, I'll never forget it. <laughs> well, I guess we'd better be getting back to the present. Time to see what happens next in our story. I did not know that at all. That Americans use... Uh... So far. And now a new present is born. Uh... Miss Rain... Miss Rainbow Sprinkles. Thank you so much for the follow, really appreciate it. Back my chat. Fuck you, Twitch. All this. The little lady is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. And the little doggy is wagging his happy tail. What am I doing? Going to do now? I think I'll watch for a while and see what happens. <laughs> Dog immediately jumps into fish bowl. What? Still at the junkyard. Alright, got it. I'm on my way. Oof, I guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. He hasn't had enough of that junkyard yet, apparently. I can't let Neosada Jago beat me out on this one. I'd better hurry. What was that all about? You saved me, didn't you, Miss All? I just know you did. Maybe I shouldn't answer it. Just caress the phone instead. Lynn! Call from Lynn, huh? And serious, I wonder what they're saying. I'd better go possess that phone and listen in. I'm the best voyeur in the planet. There's that little doggy all curled up on the floor. Grooming away the life we worked so hard to get back for him. That's fine, but what's up with that core? The dead can't possess living things. That's one of the rules Mr. Desklamp taught me. But what a living and breathing doggy be doing with a core? I better try possessing him and see. Oh, it's you, it's you! It's hmm. I'm to think of it, I never did ask for your name. Uh, I guess it's good we ran into each other again then, huh? It's a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to each other. You mean you forgot my name already? Of everything we shared together, the drama, that tearful goodbye. I miss her. But you know it's strange, I wonder why you remember me, now that you're alive again. You remember your time being dead? Of course, all of it. Okay, let me get this straight. The memory of being dead doesn't disappear. And the dead I meet in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land of the living. I can talk to the chick. Oh boy, I'm gonna make a human friend. And if I then possess that core, I can talk to that person. It looks that way, yes. Wait, if I can talk to people, does that just mean that I'm... I'm making the red-haired chick a male? Oof, that camellia never fails. What never fails? Every time she gets on that back, black hello. She talks and talks and forgets all about me. No matter how much I run around and show off, she never even glances at me. So that was you showing off, huh? Well, I mean, like, humans above dogs for the most part. I mean, then you put cats above that in general. On the base level, most cats better than most humans. Humans can supersede a cat, but, you know. Talking about averages. 
Hey, Suglash, how you doing today? Well, I would like to hear what the ladies are talking about. Oh, so would I. Then we've got a murder to commit right now, friend. Oh, yeah. Nah, dogs are crap. They're pretty good at finishing leftovers. That's about it. Amelia, oh, thank goodness you're okay. Cats can really be dicks. Oh, I like them, they're relatable. Well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly, you won't believe what just happened. Listen to me, you've got to get out of there right now. What about dinner? I was thinking of making spaghetti. Not going back there for a while, and you might be in danger if you stay there too. I already was in danger just a little while ago. Maybe at a restaurant, the chicken, the chicken kitchen on the dead end drive. Dead end drive? I don't know, that's pretty far. Just hurry, okay? And one more thing, bring the music box with you, okay? Music box? I love music boxes. Is, is it a present for me? I'm sorry, but it doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. You can't very well cut a music box then, can you? More like just a box. Just bring it, okay? It's kind of big and it's made out of wood. Okay, I will. Where is it? I can't even that room you're in. Excuse me. Not again! You could think she's not gonna come back here for a while. Yeah, exactly. My cat got trapped outside all of last night, so therefore he did not want to leave my lap today. And the only time he did was to sit behind me on my couch. Because I was not comfortable enough. Mostly from being all bone. Done! Now I've dropped the phone in there too! How about if we tell her you did a missile? But I sure hope Lynn's alright. I better get going, I know right where Dead End Drive is. But I never saw any music box around here. Where am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, Miss Earl? Let me look, okay? I better listen to myself. Well, I guess the phone's dead now, too. What are the odds that would happen? Can I save its life? I go back four minutes in the past? Looks like our little lady is a bit of a klutz. Next thing you know, she'll be dropping that poor little doggy in the tank. Anyway, something is happening to Lynn. I better help Camellia and find her treasure. Hmm. Is that the next game, Chris? I want to help Camellia find her treasure? I don't know if it's because I lost my memory or what, but I don't seem to remember what a music box is exactly. Looks like this is your chance to shine. Me? What do you mean? You can really help out right now, with that great nose of yours. Oh, you're right, I didn't think of that. So what kind of smell should I be looking for? Um... The smell of music? What's the scent of a B-flat? Oh. Hey, come on, you can't expect me to do everything for you. It's okay, don't feel too bad about it. Being consoled by a dog. How do I get up there? Where it is. Oh, I can rotate this faster. So I've done that before? That was that an option for me? I didn't notice. A wooden box just fell. That just might be the music box we're looking for. Bet the little lady will know when she sees it. We're really close now. Oh, uh, probably want to slow down here. Whoopsies. I wonder if I could have dropped the music box early then. God damn it. Oh, no, no, fuck me. Side note, I plan on beating this game over two nights, I think. 
on how long to beat they said it would take 12 hours and that's when you're not voice acting every line. So I'm gonna guess it'll take about 14 or so. So I'll probably do like 6 tonight and then try and beat it tomorrow and see how long it takes. Missile. The TV comes on, you'll start barking. I'd hate for you to I'd hate to find you flattened underneath that wall when I come home. Okay, I'm leaving now, Missile. I have to go help Lynn. She's like a sister me you know? You be good while I'm away, and no barking. Oh, bring him with you, he's my friend. What if they come back for missile? God damn it. Still no peace for the little lady, and the redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis right now as well. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle of my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the fish tank, I find myself still trapped in this apartment. Why can't I just jump into the music box? Too bad I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too. Because there is something I must do. The question is, how do I go about getting out of here? I just jump in the music box and get carried. Once again, Liz and Lynn is in danger. And I think she knows it too. I sincerely doubt she'll be coming back to this apartment tonight. She and I are connected to each other somehow. She's my only lead and I can't lose her. I have to get to her and fast. With the telephone in this apartment being out of service, my only hope of escape is to find another telephone. No Mr. Desk Lamp here, the only friend I have to talk to is nice little doggy curled up there on the floor. I'm gonna need her to actually knock down the wall. Oh, Lynn's apartment. Oh, hello. What's up? I was wondering if you could help me. I'll certainly try. I can only time travel to four minutes before somebody's death. So my time progresses as normal. I don't know what that does to history, though. Do I stay... Like, I can only possess somebody and go back in time for a day, but if I get somebody like 20 hours after they've died, that's 20 hours of history that has happened without them existing in it. Do I then go back to when they're alive when I fix them? That work. But the only thing I'm really good at though. Is barking. There really isn't much else. I think he might be right there. Not true, Sophie. Steinsgate. Time travel makes sense in Steinsgate. But I'm really, really good at barking. Miss Lynn comes chasing after me with a broom. The lady next door kicks the wall. I've got quite an influence around these parts. I'll knock this wall down. Those things don't correlate at all, Sophie. You keep that racket up. I'll bring this whole dis debilitated, dilapidated building down on you. I think she has a phone over there. Do you hear what I just heard? You mean the lady next door's angry howl? No, forget that. It was the sound of a telephone ringing coming from the apartment next door. Two landlines and two apartments? This really is a fictional world. Oh, I get it, you're thinking about borrowing a telephone, aren't you? But how are you going to do it without uh, breaking down the wall? Oh, the lady next door is kindly offering to do it for us. Yes, but she's mostly hoping to crush me underneath it. 
I mean, he's already barking, I can't annoy him more. Two things are certain, there's a telephone in the apartment next door, and I have to create a path to get there somehow. Shaky barking. If you keep that up, I'll knock the wall down. She's true to her word, we might be able to change the situation. I just avoid the whole getting crushed part though, if you don't mind. I have to do something to change the situation, if I can create just a little more racket somehow. That's enough. He's literally beside himself. I'll pound this wall open! I'm flying like a wind turbine. Well, he's dead again. I told you, didn't I? I told you I'd knock the wall down on you. I just kill the dog? This is what it feels like to have a wall knocked down on you, huh? It's more like she knocked you out through the wall, really. I'm still alive, aren't I? I don't know, dude. You are, but the TV and the star ornament aren't. I'll never bark again, not as long as I live. But wait a minute. Looks like all that commotion wasn't for naught. Huh? Your barking made it create a path for me. It did. But the wall is still standing just like before. But there are paths only the dead can see. Oh, those kinds of paths. Trick time! So you're leaving, huh? I guess so. You want to save Miss Camille and Miss Lynn? I follow my own mystery first and foremost, that means everything to me. But you will save them, right? If it helps me along my way, then yeah. I don't have any powers of the dead. I'm not even dead, actually. But I'm going to find a way to help Miss Camellia, too. We can create our own paths, right, Miss Earl? That's right. Okay, I'm leaving now. I guess this is our second goodbye. It is, isn't it? My name is Sissel. If we ever meet again, that's what you can call me. Sissel, huh? Got it. You know what, Sissel? I'm gonna create my own path, just like you said. <laughs> no. No, puppy, no. Stop. At least she's your body, not your face. Night is the holiest of all nights, my deadline. All I need to get some inspiration from the muse is this bottle and some cheese. Here's that boorish people next door. You are right, my darling angel. Have you taken your medicine like a good girl? You should really get a, um... Rosa's checked out. Well, here I am, yet another strange room. What that oddly tense air of this place? What's with that air of the air? Oddly weird air in this place. Now, where is that little treasure I'm looking for? There it is, the telephone. I mean, let's borrow it. Quick time! Even now, Lin's life is in danger. I have to use that phone fast. I can't very well make that woman bring it to me. I guess I'll have to find a way over there myself. Let's learn some words. Get educated. This thing is too heavy, I can't manipulate it. May that woman build up her destructive power by hefting this puppy. It's more like a weapon than a book. Can't read the dictionary. What is that a reference to, Strudel? Oh, Mr. Prime Minister, you mustn't. I'm a married woman, and I'm a married man, but we can't resist each other like this any longer. I'm ready to abdicate it all for you, 
Even if it means my ultimate ruin ruination. Hmm, ruination, is that even a word? And that abdicate just doesn't look right somehow. You're going to nag at me until I'm sure. You're about to look at the dictionary. Where is that dictionary? I have to somehow make a look for it. Let's see, I know I put it here somewhere. Now where could it have gone to? Blow her on her ass. No, come back. I just can't find it. Boy, is that worthless. No, I mustn't. I mustn't allow myself to believe in your love, Mr. Prime Minister. But why won't you believe me? My love is for you is true, I swear. And it's so strong it overwhelms me. And I've always wondered. You can be overwhelmed by something. Can you be just plain whelmed? It's going to nag at me until I'm sure. Building some kind of Rube Goldberg machine of rats. Oh, there it is. One handed, a strong lady. But it's strange. I know I left this dictionary on the shelf. There's some little angel playing naughty tricks on me. That's even me, dude. That's probably just you bashing down a wall. Perhaps my darling angel? Mama. Oh god, I've reached size to things. We good? Fuck me. Have a knob. What is it, my darling angel? Ow, my head hurts, mama. My poor dear, no wonder with a fever of 102. Who is to night a fever hotter than the love of my prime minister? It's almost time to go out for my lesson. Can I take that night off? Yes, I suppose it'd be best, but wait a minute. I bet you're happy to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? Not especially. If I ever don't want to go out, I just don't go and pretend I did. I can play with Camilla next door or something. It's the blunt honesty of my darling angel. I have been doing that as well, Strudel. As somebody that can't get Amazon Prime. I just keep looking at it. Oh, who do I choose? Do I choose somebody that I actually like and want to support? Or do I just go for some cool emotes? Because heads up, most of the streams I like have terrible fucking emotes. Just awful. The best ones I've seen so far are I Ate Your Pie. Those are some solid emotes. Hey, today's Papa's birthday. Who oh, it is? Are we gonna celebrate a gala? Let's not talk about your father, dear. No. I don't like PJ's emotes. Most of them are the fucking train. Mama, wait. Let's have one thing to say. Don't try and put me in the middle of you two, okay? You'll lose. Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You're writing novels and Papa wants you to stop. But it's always very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. Now, now, it's time for good little girls to go to sleep, especially sick little girls. I hate your mama. I like that girl. He's okay in my book. Those two are quite a pair. The father would have to be a pretty strong man to hold his own against them. Sounds like their family circumstances are pretty complicated. I wonder if I had a family. I mean, 
and I turned out a light so she can't see. Oh my, my lamp is out. You lit that on her ass. She's literally sitting on sandpaper. My darling lady, you think that you were a spy all along? What are you going to do to me, Mr. Prime Minister? I'll arrest you and make sure you receive the proper penalty. You're sentenced to be imprisoned in my cell of love and punished with my whip of passion. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister. Oh, my dear lady. Hmm. I'd hate to have lived in this Prime Minister's country. Eek. What's going on? Oh, I made a typo. Oh, fuck. I needed to get him that. God damn it. The telephone is right over there. If only I could get to it. I just need to jump over there somehow. Better keep my eyes open for the right timing to make a move. Get a cushion or something. Why can't I possess the flat paper when it's in the typewriter, but I can possess it when it's a wad? You. How many times are you going to make me tell you? Tonight is the holiest of all nights, my deadline. Please, I'm begging you, change your mind and come home to me. I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. Please put yourself in my position. You can write your novel just as well from home. If you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if that means forever. Let me talk to Amelia. Emily? Emily. Then at least. You can't talk to her. She's sick with a fever right now, and I won't have you giving her nightmares. I want to talk to Papa. No, I don't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. Please, wait a minute. If you try to call again, I won't answer. I refuse to answer. Well, I can go to his house, too. I got a new phone app number. Troubled man. Now I finally have the telephone lines I need. Curious about this woman's husband, but I should go find my only lead first. That hitman who's asked, that hitman who's after Lynn is sure to be heading to the junkyard right now. I'd better hurry. Let's go. Oh god, I do not want to watch that animation every time I get lost and I, need, I don't know where to go. Not much time has passed since I was here last, but the situation has changed. Is that a attorney that I see there? And perhaps a prosecutor with him? Looks like they're examining my body. I wonder who they are. And beside them, a certain somebody else wriggles and bounces happily. I wonder who that person really is too. Welcome back. You haven't been gone very long. What's going on here? The police are here to start the criminal investigation, you know, into your murder. My murder case, huh? Where's Lynn? She alright? Yeah, she found out your, her name already, did you? I'm impressed. Excuse me. There's a fat pigeon. Sound like she was in some kind of immediate danger. 
to mention the fact that Hitman is after her again. We didn't have to worry about that kind of thing. She was just taken into custody a few minutes ago. Custody? You mean she was arrested? But why? I don't know, I'm just a desk lamp. Hmm. I'd better see what I can find out. That's not Phoenix, he's just wearing the same suit, you son of a... Quite a thing, huh, this case. Yeah, one of our own, a Metara. Heads will roll over this. And she's a rookie, too. I heard she was carrying out some crazy investigation. Rookies aren't given crazy assignments like that, not even rookies like Lynn. Yeah, but I heard her she was special. She's got strong ties to Inspector Cabanella of the Special Investigation Unit. Hmm. I plan on moving up the ladder on my own merits myself. Well, we detectives shouldn't be standing around just gossiping. Never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. That's me. I guess I'm just listening for I think we can safely assume the cause of death was the bullet he took to the chest. Bring the stretcher, I'll look into the rest back in the lab. Would you mind waiting for a bit, Doctor? Inspector Cabanella, head of the Special Investing Unit, is on his way now. Special Investigation Unit? What do they want with a case like this? I don't know, but Cabanella's our top investigator. We don't want to get him all bent out of shape or there'll be hell to pay. <laughs> don't see what that has to do with me. I don't really get what Cabanella wants to come here for either. Probably just a big lark for him, but it makes things to tougher on us. Hey, watch what you say behind his back, you never know who might be listening. Like me! Like me. That is how to get of a fucking bicycle. Some panache. Ah, the tension of a crime scene. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. Have you played this game before, Kate? I'm surprised you didn't get us a yesterday when I was saying it's a game that people that like Phoenix Wright would like. I know it's a Halloween game. Evening, boys! How's it looking? Inspector Cabanella, thank you for coming. Allow me to report, sir. Fine, fine. You just hold that thought. I'm gonna make a little phone call first. So this is the head of the Special Investigation Unit. He seems, uh, unique. Oh, did you whisper each other? New info has been added. I definitely didn't see that in chat. Oop. 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 Deal me the deal. How's it going over there, baby? Going? How is it going, you ask? You'd like to know how it's going? Who's in chat? Ha! Huh, that's completely missed it. I would say it's going well enough. About fair to be average. If I had to say, yes, it's going alright. Newt the man, I was hoping to talk there to their baby. Do me a favor and put that other nice man on the horn now, would you? That's a nice fella. If it has anything to do with this park, I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of this park. Yes. Ah, oh, sorry about that, Inspector. Just got here. Well, glad to hear you made it. 
as a fellow just about threw me for a loop. Stop blathering something about being a guardian of the park or some such. That's him. Sorry about that. Well, start doing, start doing your staking out thing, baby. And buzz me if anything comes up. Yes, sir. Trace complete. Fuck. Now then, sir, if I may make my report, sir. Duck you, oh duck. Talking to me. I need you to handle this case with your finest care and attention. Would you do that for me, Doc? Don't need to tell me how to do my job. I'm just gonna keep stethoscoping this guy's knee over here. And who'd I like to see the suspect now for me? Lynn, sir, I asked her to let herself be taken into custody voluntarily, sir. He's being detained at the junkyard superintendent's office right now. Super office, eh? Super! And where's that? Just beyond where you parked your bicycle, Inspector. I'll go interview the suspect then. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. Her on, boys. Good luck, sir. That guy has some fucking style. The sweet jig up the stairs. Good time. Phew, that Inspector Cabanelli sure has a strange air about him. You can say that again, and I've never seen anybody use stairs the way he does. I hear he's dancing his way up the stairs of a promotion in the same airy way. And I hear Lynn is his personal favorite. What's the deal between those two? Hey, how should I know? this map I don't think that map's actually a thing I was about to say one of them actually traveling to where it says on the map and I don't think so it appears to be the entrance to a nearby a nearly deserted dimly lit park super rapey the voices of two young people drift over to me on the breeze stop the park from being turned into a housing site Protect the park, the rock of the gods. Ah, sorry, but could you do that somewhere else? I'm a little busy right now, don't have time to talk. I suppose you think I'm a man of dubious character, a questionable person. No, I are. Uh... But if an objective person were asked, they might think you were a little suspicious yourself. As two suspicious characters, Shouldn't we take the time to converse with each other? Oh boy, alright, but just for a minute. There, I like your attitude. I like it very much. Let's relax and talk a while then. The night is young and so are we. Oh man. I guess that's what happens when you go to an area that you uh, have nothing to do in. I don't know, as somebody that just inherently goes for all of an A straddle, BlizzCon going pretty well. Reminds me of your lost card back. Card pack. I still have no way to get upwards. I think we can pretty safely assume this was a murder weapon. Oh no, that pistol. 
Same model as pistols you detectives carry around. You don't think it's Lynn's, do you? This is not good, and if it is hers, it's all over. So Lynn is a detective, and the murder weapon might be her pistol? What could it all mean? It might be the last time anyone opens a TDT plaque. We can only hope. Yep. It's like what Tice always does, except with the playing well part. So this is the weapon that took my life. A pistol, huh? My memory seems to be hazy on pistols. But I've seen them before, that's for sure. Let's see, this part right here. Oh, if you want fire, thing aim it in your own direction. I, I didn't fire it, I'm the victim here. If this is the act of somebody who's jealous of my abilities as a detective. Well, what are you glaring at me for? I'm hardly jealous of you. Well, I guess that proves it's a real gun. What, what, what was that? Is that what I think it was? Sound of a gun. I like the position the doctor puts himself in. I get a bad feeling about this. Every time that phone rings, it's bad news. It's like that old riddle. Which came first, the ringing phone or the crime case? Um, you say so. No, but Tice misplayed real hard. Like multiple games. Ah, there you are. Do me a favor and have the duck come to the super's office, would you? Ah, he's pretty busy at the moment, sir. Which one are you, the green one or the blue one? Ah, I'm a. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm the green one, sir. Listen, Greeny, get the good duck over here this instant, or I'll see it to you never wear a green suit again. Yes, sir. I'll send him right up, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is unfortunate. <laughs> Please, Doctor, go to the superintendent's office immediately. If I must. Get in his bag, get in his bag, get in his bag. What are you doing? Oh, it's gone. What's going on? Don't ask me, but something seems really, really wrong. That shot sounded like it was coming from somewhere around the maintenance building. I mean, I can just phone there, I guess, but... Why can't anyone just carry me where I want to go? Yet another gunshot rings out in a lonely junkyard on the edge of town. Sam gives me the feeling a new death will be waiting on the other side of the line. Apparently I'm not the only one the Reaper's interested in tonight. But as long as there's anything I can do about it, I don't plan on letting anybody else die. Yes. He has such terrible hair. It makes me actively rude against him. He doesn't seem like that bad of a guy, but fuck I hate his orange hair. Changing a person's fate is no easy task, especially when their fate is death. The scene at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected, all except for one thing. Lynn's dead again? No, Lynn! Hang in there, baby! That looks like some piece of trash shot her from the top of the from the top of the pile of garbage outside. Yeah, let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I Sorry, you can't allow that pigeon man. I investigate in you, superintend. You have your job and I have mine. Let's leave each to their own profession, shall we? Mm, yeah, well here's what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? Bye. Anyway, have it your way. I'll stay out of your hair.
So is tonight all of the losers bracket to be finished, or is it still only half of the losers bracket that gets done? Because I know that the winner's side is done. I have a code for Tarande that somebody was nice enough to give me in chat. But, uh... I haven't played the game this month. I need to go into Hearthstone before the end of the month so I can get the rewards from last season and then this season. Duck, what do you took you so long? Quit dragging your feet. Somebody just gets eliminated from each bracket? I see. Then someone else does. Fair enough. Who you do who you just shout at me? Now let me have a look at the victim. I haven't even like looked yet, but I can already tell you she's dead. The second death of the night, actually. Good time. Yeah, it makes sense. It is a double elimination bracket. So little. What is this notebook? What's up this blinding pink notebook? Somebody stuck it behind the bookcase at a haphazard angle. Maybe there's the superintendent's way of tidying up? How about it, duck? Can you save her? She's not breathing. That's nice, Streets. Afraid of our miracle worker. Only thing we can do now is, cur is curse the aim of the one who shot her. Lynn! How could I let this happen to you? Motor. So there is a secret room underneath them. Good, good. Have you played exactly two games this week, Kate? Unconscious this time as well, huh? I think it makes sense because it means that they can have a, uh, a long presentation and still have seven games per match. Fifteen of them were Control Warrior? That doesn't sound too bad. I don't know why there would be a lot of Control Warrior against Midrange Shaman, because Midrange Shaman wins that matchup. Cthune a little less so, because there's some inevitability on that one. But, uh... Yeah, Midrange Shaman crushes Control Warrior. Where am I? He's coming too? What happened to me? Excuse me! Are you ignoring me? Uh, sorry. I'm not used to talking with dead people, you see. Dead? So I'm dead, huh? Hmm, try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I am. He's starting to remind me of me. Who am I? Everybody seems to call you Lin, if that's any help. Lin, huh? Pretty cute name. And apparently you're a detective, too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and upholds justice? Sounds like a pretty subjective description, but yeah, that kind of detective. Hey, wait a minute. Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose. Something really unusual is going down in this town tonight. Yeah, I certainly won't argue that really unusual part. That's not your face, you know. Take another look, you're the dead one. Oh, right, of course. It'd be pretty heinous if I looked like this, I guess, wouldn't it? I don't know if heinous is the right word. He's so perky. Side note, I wanted to put her on the side of the screen. Like how I've got the blue chick there on the other side, but because of her dumb fucking hair, it was impossible to make her face look good. It always just looks dumb. So she's just kind of walking off screen with a little foot.
That doesn't sound that bad. That ladder does that ladder does not sound too bad. And what rank was this hat, Kate? Man, now this is more like it. Something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. Do you have anything to do with my own death, I wonder? Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? You can ask me. Huh? I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. Yeah, everything's so confusing. Can't you do something? Oh, that would explain the lack of shamans, yeah. <laughs> All the shamans moved on from those ranks long ago. Hey, you're asking the wrong guy. But I've got some things to ask you about. I'm looking for the answers to the questions who I am, why was I killed, anything that might help me. Anything I know right now is that my name is Sissel. Your name is Sissel, huh? I think so, it rings some kind of bell anyway. I think I was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. So you must at least know me, I think. I was meeting with you? Yeah, in the junkyard outside. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now. I mean, that's only three games from starting the month, Kate. I knew it. I knew the lead I needed. But I'm so sorry. I don't think I can help you. What? what why not? Because I don't know you. It's weird to me that there is um, a uh, a white triangle that completely fills up between her face and her hair. There should be space in between that. It's just an outline. Why is it all filled in? What do you mean? I thought you said you remembered me. No, I said I remember something. I remembered the... No, I said I remembered something. I remember the fact that I don't know you. No way. So I died, huh? Yeah, apparently. I'm very sorry. How could this have happened? And after I just passed my test final this year, my exciting career of catching the bad guys had just begun. And now look at me. Why'd I have to go and die in an old junkyard like this? Poor kid, the shock is set get setting in. And so I told her everything that happened tonight. About ghost tricks, possessing and manipulating objects, about going back four minutes before a person's death. Yeah, but it's too thick to be the outline, Kate. There should be a triangle gap. In between the white outline. It just looks like a lazy... A lazy job, because I know that I've done the th that thing before. I just filled in the whole square and then, oh no, I fucked up. This actually isn't the first time you died tonight, you know. You already shot and killed once before. And you saved me? That's right, you don't remember? Hmm, yes, I think I do remember something like that happening vaguely. Yes, I did get shot by a blue man dressed in all black. Guess this means that even if the, a death is erased, the memory of it remains. She's gonna get some memories tonight. So I died twice already tonight? I knew what to say to her. Guess I'll just have to wait until she recovers a little. Hey, I bet that's some kind of record, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Looks like she's pretty much recovered already. So you don't know me, huh? Yep, wish I did. So do you suppose we're just two strangers who happened to meet tonight? No way, I don't think it was an accident. Why in the world would I be out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I was asked to come here tonight. Asked to come? By whom? Can you kind of guess where this is going? You're kidding, you, you mean... Bingo, by you. I asked you to come here, but why? That's what I was going to ask you. Why'd you ask me to come here tonight? Way out here in the middle of nowhere. You've got to be kidding me. It goes without saying that I don't remember. Yeah, everything is so confusing, can't you do something? Hey, Ken. It was Ghost Trick. Apparently you and Kate guessed it, and I didn't even see it in chat when you did. Lynn, I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I have a favor to ask. What is it? 
In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. When you do, do you think you could try to find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who I am and why I was killed? I'm really sorry, but I can't make any promises. Why not? I don't remember very clearly right now, but I think I was investigating a case tonight. A case that is very, very important to me. So even if I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. I know it's a terrible thing to say to the person who's already saved my life once already. I'm really, really sorry. And I'm looking forward to you saving my life again. I see. That's too bad. I'm afraid I still... I'm still... Uh, but I'm afraid I'm st I'm still going to ask you. Ask me what? Ask you to save me, even though I probably won't be able to help you. I know it's selfish of me, I really apologize, but I just can't die, not yet, not like this. I'm investigating something important tonight. I think maybe that might be the reason I was killed, but I still want to solve that case in spite of all that. Am I out of line? Didn't I tell you a minute ago you don't owe me? Huh? I'm certainly not going to treat your life like some kind of bargaining chip. I'll save you. What, up, what you do after that is up to you. Thank you. So you're ready to go back back to four minutes before you got shot? Are the ghost trick people in uh, Ace Attorney Online, Ken? Lynn's second death. I'm heading back in time now to rewrite her fate. Faced with those circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me, but she didn't. That's when I knew I could trust her. Ebonel, Lynn, and Sicilla. Those seem like the right ones to pick. They're not the lamp! You can't put the lamp on the witness stand. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, sir. Detective, is everything okay? Oh, uh, I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. What? Don't do that. Oh, I'm sorry. You leave jobs like this to me. Is chicken all right? One chicken dinner. Oh, that's okay. Huh? I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. Abanel actually has two folders. Oh, you mean of of sprites. One as Ghost Trick and one as Ace Attorney. I'd like to go back to the station for a minute though. You would? Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Inspector Cabanel is on his way. He'll be any minute. Does he do sick dance moves in the courthouse? Evening, patrolman. Good evening, Inspector. Cabanel, sir. Nice work. Now do me a favor and take a little patrol around outside, would you? That's a nice fellow. Yes, sir. That entire dance is an animation. You, how's it going, baby? Inspector Cabanella, what are you doing here? I thought the special investigation unit you know, had an important top secret assignment tonight. What does that matter at a time like this when Miss Lynn's in a crisis? I appreciate it, sir. Wait a minute, did you say crisis? Don't tell me I'm being suspected. Suspected of shooting that pointy haired man in the red suit. I mean, I've never even met the guy before. Hmm, never baby. Oh, well, uh, for tonight, I mean, he asked me to meet him here. He said he had important information about the big case I'm working on. He's the one who contacted me. I see, I see, but it's funny, ain't it? I took a look at the list of cases your station is handling right now, and I didn't see you listed as involved on any big cases. They are swift. How you going, man? You know I don't suspect you, baby. Just trying to clear things up. You're not the type to ever shoot nobody. Hey, who knows you're better than me, baby. You know if anything ever happened to you. I'd never be able to look him in the eye again. Dr. Cabanella, I'm gonna ask you a question. 
Yeah, and what's that? I want you to answer honestly. Is tonight, is that when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about, baby. Get down! And boogie. Seems to me that baby is indeed under suspicion. I inspected Cabanella, no, he's not like that. Just for the record, did you shoot me? Me, I would never do anything like that. Anyway, looks like the hitman fired from outside. But you had to prevent the bullet from coming in though. In any case, let's just give it a try. A four minute game. Wow, Sacred Stones took a lead. At some point, Sacred Stones just fucking galloped. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, I didn't, nope, I didn't, I didn't mean to do this, whoopsies. Sui Koden is, uh, hanging in strong. Very close. You know what? I have an idea. The guy who shot me is outside, right? Looks that way, yeah. Instead of trying to stop the bullet once it gets in here, wouldn't it be more fun to go out and stop the guy who's shooting the bullet? Fun, she says, with eyes gleaming. Oh boy. You can use the telephone to move around, right? That's right, and I know the telephone number to the junkyard payphone too. I want to get shot again. You know what they say, about three strikes and you're out. As long as you don't become a ball player, you'll probably be safe. But the telephone thing's a good idea, maybe I'll give it a try. I was just gonna make her walk to the other side of the room and not go near the window. But okay. I guess that's an option as well. What is the most convoluted mess? What's up with this blinding pink notebook? Oh, that's mine. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> Why isn't your adorable notebook in your pocket? I panicked, okay? Don't you shove things in the bookcase when you panic? Who are you calling, anyway? It's personal business. Worthless. No, wrong way! God damn it. One chicken dinner. Sure, let's look at some photos. These pictures are old. What are they of? Little fragments of rock? And the fragments are glowing. Do you know what these are? Sorry, but I've lost my memory. Probably not the best person to ask. It's okay. I was only being polite. I really think you'd, I didn't really think you'd know. Ouch. This lady can. This lady's tongue can be sharp. Did you say a line before? And it is a convoluted mess. <laughs> Are you playing the first Kingdom Hearts or the second one? But also yes. Yes. Kingdom Hearts story is um. Yeah, it's a mess. Uh, I can hear what you're thinking, remember? I know. Good one. What could this be? It looks like a giant nail clipper. You think so? Do you know what it is? You've played one and two so far. Then, that, then you're done. <laughs> Fuck all of the handheld ones. They are garbage nonsense. Why'd you have to ask me? Couldn't you see I was looking at it way evasively? Huh? It's one of those sciencey things that scientists science with. Ordinary people like us don't know what it is. I don't remember what science is. But it's apparently something Lynn doesn't like very much. Funny. What's the matter? The telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line glows red, but it's dark right now. What? Apparently in this four minutes before death world, we can't just use the phone lines whenever we want. You're kidding, right? As long as the lines are closed like this, it looks like we can't go anywhere. I don't want to stop that criminal! 
Does that mean I had to be in the phone when he rang? Or does that mean that I... Just have to do things in this one room? Yeah, I guess that's fair, Kate. First one story wasn't that convoluted. It was just kind of bad. The ending was kind of a bummer, though. Oh, side note, if anybody wasn't on the uh, Discord today and is curious about how my PB went yesterday in Wings of V, there you go. There's a true Halloween treat for everybody involved. Am I meant to be pressing these? Like the cutscenes happen again, right? Worthless. I'm gonna just go, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do the thing from when he uses the phone to go order a chicken dinner. And assume that that works. But I can't reach. There's no fast forward button, right? Oh, is this just the cutscene? Oh no, I can do it. I can get over there. Alrighty. Let's see if I can use the phone. No, that's a legit question. Is there a, uh, a fast forward button? Hello, the kitchen, the chicken kitchen. You want chicken? You got your chicken. One chicken dinner, please. Would you like an order of fried chicken with that? explicitly but listening to conversations jumps time for hello where would you like that delivered they hung up la 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 what does it matter a chicken order or two lost if it were three orders, that would be a different story, though. Oh, la la la. Quick time. So what are you doing to save my life? Well, I went to hang out at the chicken kitchen for a while. We spoke every while we had the chance without much thought. 
isn't where the hitman who's trying to kill me is. Really? We probably ought to hurry back. Oh. Oh, but I was having a good time in the chicken kitchen. Fine. Hmm, that's funny. What's the matter? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. You see, tell. Okay. Yep, yeah, got it. Do I get to keep the phone number, I wonder? Like, does the trace still stay there? Oh, so I seem to possess her ass. Good work, me. The dialogue right now to jump straight to the cutscene but I can wait for it. Got it. To so always click a speech bubble if you are just waiting for it to progress. No sense in going over to the restaurant now. Right, can't eat chicken if I'm dead. That's not what I was talking about. The place we need to be now is outside in the junkyard where the hitman lurks. The only way to get there is to use the telephone lines. Sup, Ken. What to have you linked me? Poor kids TV. He has a girlfriend named Miranda Brown. Why? Why does this exist? What is 4chan done? I'd like to go back to the station for a minute though. Is it literally just gonna be every character in blackface? Hey, did you hear what that officer just said? Nope, they just changed their hair color. Sandy Von Smiles. I know they're not real, that's why I said 4chan. His taste is perfectly normal. <laughs> but anyway, not that part. The part about the order he got. He ordered the telephone outside if I did anything suspicious. Telephone, huh? I was acting really suspicious a few minutes ago, but I didn't call. He should have been more observant. So if the police officer sees anything suspicious, the state of affairs might change. Okay. Having that bang in the back of the head. Okay. Bamp. Huh? That's Lynn's notebook. Hey, wait a minute. Thought she was practicing a dance move when I came in. Nope, that was definitely suspicious, no question. I'd better report this. I wonder if I can make the call without her noticing.
What's up? Been watching then just like you told me to, and I know something suspicious. You did, so Inspector C Cabanella was right. She's in a notebook when I came in. A notebook, eh? Yes, sir. In a very suspicious manner, in a very conspicuous place. Anything else? Um, let's see. It's pink and it's a notebook. Anything else? Um, let's see. Come to think of it, she was using the phone when I came in too and referring to a notebook. Okay, someone will be over later. Don't let her. Don't let on that you noticed anything. Hey, look at that! The phone line's going red. I bet it would work if we tried it now. I bet you're right. The detective he's talking to is outside in the junkyard. And that's where the horrible hitman who's after me is too. What are these other ones? Ew, Wendy, why? I've been waiting for you. Ah! Ooh, what are you? A desk lamp? That sounds like an old grandpa. Just call me Ray. Was he meant to be old this entire time? Well, get fucked. Grandpa Ray? You just have to get. You just have to get the grandpa part in there somewhere, don't you? We're cells. We can choose any appearance we like. Which means you have no intention of showing us what you really look like, right? Now then, about that gunshot that took your life. I heard it way up on the upper level a scant few minutes from now. Hitman is probably getting his rifle ready right now. Alright, I'm going in. I'll get him with those ghost trick thingies. I'm very sorry, young lady, but you don't have those powers. What? Why not? I'm afraid I don't know the reason, but only a special few of the powers of the dead. What? Are you saying I'm not special? That's not fair. Anyway, we don't have much time. Come on and hop in. Carry on, boys. I like the fate changes as uh, checkpoints. That horrible hitman that's after me is upstairs, isn't he? Yeah, apparently. In other words, we can't stop him if we stay down here. Let's go then! I'm really not being on the idea of getting shot again. Look how fast you can move through things. When you want to. Feels nice. Feels nice to control. <laughs> okay. Oh, I still have to do the flag thing again. I mean, I'm going back upwards, I guess. I wonder if the speedrun of this game would be weirdly impressive. <laughs> Now's the time to hunt down that horrible hitman. Must be around here somewhere, prepping to take his shot. There isn't a lot of time, let's try to find him fast. I'm gonna make good and sure he understands what happens to people who point guns at others. That's a gleam in her eye that's absolutely blinding. Oh, so she has a gun, so she's probably pointed a gun at somebody else before. No, but there was a black cat earlier. And that we can hope to make friends with. I need something to happen for me. Look, there's a way up there. That hor the horrible hitman. I think his name is actually Tango, but I guess that doesn't matter. Come on, let's go grind him into pieces! I wish you wouldn't use such violent expressions. Besides, I don't see any pause that will get us over there. 
I think we might have missed our chance already. Timing is everything. And that is the correct reaction, Stradle. Always. I needed to jump on him when he rode past on his bike, I'm pretty sure. Good one. It's a good PB. Very proud of it. I'm part of the 1% group. <laughs> if there's one tradition that I've kept for every boss in Wings of V, it is that I've died to all of them. Everyone. When they were on 1% HP. my dog. Time to go to work. I'll be the head of Hitman Division by next month for sure. There he is, the horrible Hitman! I think his name is actually Tango, but that doesn't matter now. We have to stop him by shooting fast. Fine. Find him with this fight real quick. We put a stop to that shot at least. We did it, so I'm safe now, right? Well, that changed your fate a little, but it didn't avert it completely. We're not done yet. That man is professional, and he really, really wants to head to be head of the division. Apparently, I doubt blocking a shot here and there is really going to stop him. You want to rough him up a little bit? I promise I won't put it in the report. Let's think of something else before he gets a shot in. I can talk to anybody that uh, has died and I've saved. Yeah, she died again. She 100% died again. I want that position, I have to be careful of even the least bit of light. Vision head is my ambition for this year. Next year, my motto will be, if I want to be director, I have to be careful of even the least bit of scandal. So it sounds like he won't show up in spots where the light is on. And next year, I'm going to be, I'm going to spread some nasty scandalous rumors about him. Hey, JJ, how you gonna do? Oh, look at that! One of the lights went out! There are three lights here all together. Apparently we can't have all three of them on at once. A station is crazy cheap when it comes to electricity. Just so another detective could see what was he doing the other... Just so another detective could see what he was doing the other day, I had to pedal my bicycle in place to work the headlamp. A very sad tale indeed. Sounds like they're taking things way too far. Where am I off to next? Hey, did you turn on that flashing light? It wasn't me. It went off all by itself. Scared the heck out of me. Well, just make sure you don't lay you show you lay off or don't waste any electricity. Things gone that tight, that's pretty sad. They're really putting the squeeze on us lately about using too much power at sites. They won't even let us use all of our searchlights at once. Oh boy, we all be free to do at least that much, especially on a dark night like tonight.
this light is already on. Does that mean that he won't show up here? Or does that mean that I preemptively did this? Explain game mechanics and such for you? Uh... Somebody dies. Oh god! I go back in time to stop that crime from happening, and the way that I can do that is by manipulating objects that I possess as a ghost. Look, one of the lights went out! There are three lights zero together. Apparently kind of all three of them on at once. So I just have to keep doing this until he gives up? Why do bad streamers have the best emotes? Right? Right, Strudel? Why do good streamers have terrible emotes, which is the wor the worst problem? Don't shit talk other streamers by name. That is unnecessary. You can whisper, Chris. I'm just gonna keep doing this forever until uh, the time runs out and hopefully that's what you're meant to do and I'm not meant to do something else. I mean, this should work. German, so it's strudel. Ah, nothing happens, that's funny. So let's leave us for swinging the crane arm around. We can swing that horrible hitman around! Hmm, it's a crane. But there's some other way we can use it. What? Time till death three. Wait, what? What? Why? What? Why? I guess I needed him to go to the other light, and then I had to do that one. That's bullshit. <laughs> That's bullshit. Alright. Even if we block his shot, that only buys us a little more time. Doesn't look like we can discourage him from shooting completely. The only way to deal with the evil is to crush it completely. Lady Detective's a little excessive. Guess I'd better rewind the clock again and see if I can pick up any other clues. God. You could get a sweet Donkey Kong four-part emote if you want to go and, uh... Sub to excessive profanity, Strudel. That's an option that you could take. It's pretty dumb. I kind of get part- I can kind of get behind that emote. And I like his channel enough. That might be where I send my Twitch Prime sub when I can.
Wait, what the fuck? Why are you back over there? I just did that one. I thought I had to turn it off so you'd keep moving. Fuck you. So I have to go and turn off the first light somehow. You, go away. Okay, I'm just gonna keep pushing him backwards. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Like, the timer isn't ticking down any faster, so he's just gonna stand there for as long as I need him to. Like, I've got a long wait on this timer. I should be able to go all the way to the left, turn off the light, and then come back for that one, I guess. just have no spots to go to if all three lights were just on. I was just meant to do that. No, 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 no. I'm back. don't mind two minute noodles with no flavoring. I think they're always just fine playing. Do I get a new dialogue from him like he's meant to be back here? Hmm, this is quite a distance from the target, but I can't work under a spotlight after all. Never mind, a shit like this is nothing for a man on my skin. The division head seems to be like seems to like dark gloomy places. I'd be happy to throw him in a dark gloomy cell. Come on, Sissel, let's get him. Hold up. When did I become her assistant? I wonder if I was meant to hit him with like the boom gate or something instead. Oh, look at that. One of the lights went out. There are three lights here together. Apparently, kind of all three of them on at once. Yeah, maybe I was meant to like hit him with the boom gate or something and knock him out. This isn't gonna push him further back. I think I fucked up. And I'm going to have to do all of this again. Side note: that problem has never ever happened to me once, Swift. That seems very unlucky. two-minute noodles. Nice.
Then why were you? Oh, he doesn't just stream nothing but arenas anymore? Wow, if you ever want to talk about the sad state of Hearthstone. Why don't you just go and sub to Tornus and then get all of the Russian troll faces that you could ever want, Strudel? Or Heckers, as they are called, apparently. In Britain, that's a word for a penis. saying you should do things based on how many times you should watch them. I'm just saying, there's lots of Russian troll faces that you could get. Are you fucking kidding me? Does he not actually reach those at all? We got here. I can raise a gate. I can open umbrella. Let's start by opening the. Uh, no, I wanted that. To God damn it! No, no, it's not fair. No. Oh, the umbrella got knocked way over here. Now we can't go anywhere. Guess that's what you get for touching Inspector Can Cabanella's umbrella. You're always setting up traps for people. Ah, oh, now what? Probably should have saved this umbrella for when it was really needed. Ah, oh, come on! Good. Good. The ghost that gets tricked. I thought I was gonna open it and then it would stay hooked onto the thing and then I would fly the thing with the giant open umbrella at him. Alright? I didn't think that I'd fly the thing at him first and then get a chance to open the umbrella afterwards. That's just going to be a running theme that I have to pay attention to Cabanella's shit because it's always going to just trick me, make me have to reset. Side note, when you press the ghost button it kind of sounds like you're using a silenced pistol. when you exit it.
Oh, you fucked with him. Oh, come on. Why? Musings of a hitman part one. When I fire a bullet, I put my heart and soul into it. The bullet is my soul, the shot is the expression of my soul. That's why I never waste bullets, besides. I have to put the extra bullets down as an extra expense, and accounting never likes that. What the heck is that idiot blathering about? Hey, don't get mad at me. We have to stop this guy. Good thing I used that umbrella. Did you just scream just now? I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Nobody said it was. There. We found a nice dark spot for our gloom-loving hitman. I keep murdering people. I think your death has just been erased again. Looks like the Reaper doesn't care who he takes, as long as it's somebody. Why not, I wonder? Huh? Why don't I have any powers like you? If I could do things like you, I could re it could really help me pursue my case. Why only the special few, huh? It's not fair. It's the same thing the old doggy said, too. Well, I'm jealous of you, actually. Oh, yeah, I guess nobody's life got paid for with missile. No, death's coming for somebody. You are? Why? Because your life can be saved, even if you die again tonight, I can save you with my ghost tricks. Any tricks you can pull are in corners. They didn't help me at all. Maybe you can save my life. Oh! These powers of the dead, why have they chosen me? Will I finally answer that question tonight? Just oh, I'm so sorry. Well, you're free to do as you please now. Guess this is a goodbye, detective. Will we ever see each other again? If you ever want to see me again, all you have to do is die. Okay, got it! I was kidding. Well, I guess we better be getting back to the present. Lynn has escaped death for a second time, but that doesn't mean that she's out of the water yet. I'd better go see how she's doing. Oh, this is like a quick escape all the way back down. Sweet. What'd you get, JJ? No, Missile only died once, Strudel. Uno deaths for Missile. Bampy, come to me. It looks like congratulations are in order. You erase yet another death. But I haven't gotten any further in solving my own mystery, though. But that woman holds the key, don't forget that. Lynn, huh? Now she's alive again, she's probably still being detained in the super's office. will not be able to pursue a case without the freedom of, to move around. Pretty good back to the super's office and see her. That sounds like a good idea. Oh, I decided to go back to the office where Lynn was being detained. With her changed fate, her story was sure to change too. Maybe that would lead us in a new direction. Now that Lynn is alive again, I wonder what she's doing. She said she was investigating an important case tonight. Could that case be connected to me in any way? Chapter 5, 8.34pm. I feel like I've gone through five chapters. 
to do an hour and a half of game time. When Lynn lost her life for the second time, she was being detained on suspicion of my murder, but I saved her, hoping to solve my own mystery. Living creatures can choose to live their lives in one of two ways. They can either submit to their fate or they can try to change it. Lynn is definitely in the second camp. As soon as I got back to the junkyard superintendent's office, this fact has really brought home to me. Fool! We told you not to let the suspect out of your sight. My apologies, sir, but I never thought she'd run away. Lynn is our angel, I mean friend, I mean... She's like family to us. Angel, friend, or family, they all run when they have the chance. Give me an idea how many years it's been since my wife ran away. Very sorry, sir. I had no idea. Oof. You'll never make detective at that rate. Now find Lynn. Yes, sir. If Inspector Cabanella gets word of this, it's all over. So a red-headed detective escaped, did she? I just barely saved her a few minutes ago. Oh, she's fast. I guess I'll look around for leads. I can possess a lead? It's new, so I better touch it. And that is going to overboil. Still, uh, nothing down here. Oh. That old pigeon man, do you suppose he's carrying out some sort of research here? Look at these pre precision instruments and complicated devices. What are you doing? Yeah, I think I may have... Just, I think maybe this is our loon escape for here. She couldn't possibly fit in that tiny little elevator. I won't know, sir. Lynn's pretty slim. Ooh. Don't you know that women can make themselves appear slim through fashion? To this day, I still don't know how much my wife really weighs. Very sorry, sir. I had no idea. You'll never make detective at that rate. Anyway, where's that old pigeon man? Oh, him, sir. He went through the door behind me, sir. It won't open. Apparently that door leads to the basement, but it's currently locked, sir. Why is there a detective's office in a junkyard? These instruments, they are all very suspicious. You'd better keep your eye on that old man, too. Yes, sir. You exploding yet, Kettle? You gonna do a good one and explode for me? I swear I just saw this thing move. Don't tell me, could it be? It sensed the tension between me and the detective and moved to get away from it? That was an unexpected tangent. I'd never make detective at this rate. What I need is some sort of achievement to feather in my cap. If only I could find a helpful lead, that might do the trick. The ghost trick? A helpful and blindingly obvious lead is staring you in the face right now. Yes, that is a stepladder. That's a stepladder right there, because it steps. Huh, this is Lynn's notebook. If I give this back to her, it might spark something between us. Hmm, what to do, what to do? This is a very complicated matter. What have you got there? What this, oh, uh, this is, um... Wait a minute, is that... Yeah, yes, so it's Lynn's notebook. Notebook, eh. Come to think of it, there was something about that in the report. Something about her looking at her notebook and making a phone call. This must be it. This telephone number with the big circle around it. 
I just curious to know who she was calling. I I am I really am, sir. I'd like to know. Oh, but I don't have any ulterior motive for wanting to know, though, sir. No, 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 sir, no. This number might be an important lead. I'd better check it out. Gonna be her own house. And she circled and then went to the diner. I know where she was going. I know for a fact she was going to the diner. Like... Why didn't I at least think that? Like, I don't know how to get there, but... Surely Sissel should have been should have been able to go, Oh yeah, she, she literally set up a meetup point. Hello, to whom am I speaking, please? Yes? Hello? This is a criminal investigation. We need your cooperation. Hey, I know that voice. Is that you, Detective McCall? Oh, is that Officer Bailey? What's up, sir? You don't usually call this late. Oh, uh, did you get a call from one of our detectives, Lynn, earlier? From Lynn? Yes, I did. She calls every night. Maybe she senses it's about to happen. Did she say anything special? No, not really. Is something wrong? Yes, well, ahem. I might be contacting you again if I have any other questions. You have a dumpy ass. God, so many phone numbers. I'm going to go file a report down at the station. I need you to be vigilant here. Excuse me, detective, but what is it? That notebook, would you mind if I gave? Oh, never mind, sir. <laughs> Just stay on your toes. Lonely. It's so lonely when you're a ghost and there's no dead people to keep you company. Murder some people just to hang out with them for the night. I mean, like, you have an entire day to fix their shit, so, like, you kill them at the start with electricity or something that I can, like, manipulate. Buddy cop movie throughout the whole thing at, like, oh, 4 a.m., just before dawn. Fix them up. Have a good time. What was that call about? Heard you say Lynn. I don't really know. If I had to take a guess, though, I'd probably say something's going on with her. Ah, uh -huh. only place in the world with nothing going on is inside your brain, Bailey. Ah. Uh -huh. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, I know what the words mean. That's not what I'm asking. That's my way of expressing indignation. Putting it in the form of a question. There's some giant cards. I just hope Lynn's not doing anything crazy. I'm a fan of hers, you know. According to my log, Lynn has been calling in nearly every night as of late. So let's see. This is the place Lynn took all that risk to call, huh? What exactly is this place? Trick time! Eh. Eh. I can let loose the memo. The screen shows rows of tiny rooms. The rooms are really, really small. And you can see right into them from the outside. Those the open bars keep the rooms airy, but I wouldn't want to live in one myself. I wonder where these ro little rooms are. Hey, what's this? Oh, that! I wrote down my duties for the night so I wouldn't forget any of them. You can't keep them in your head. It's not like you have a ton of duties after all. Use a little brain power. Ah! What are you talking about? Aren't you the one who just said nothing was going on inside my brain? Mm, didn't you think you'd take it in that direction? So let's see this important to do list of yours. Nine, take prisoner C38 to the telephone room. Yes, he just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. Nine, eh? That's when Lynn usually calls. 
We can't let her talk to him tonight. Rules are rules. Ah, uh, Pauline. Sure wish I could comfort her. Is it is her dad in uh, prison right now? Well, what do you think you're doing? That's my important duties memo. That's okay, I got it all memorized for ya. Well, well, it's your duty to guard the telephone room, you know. Just make sure you do your job when the time comes. I feel like I should have got out of that memo. When I had the chance. Hello? L Lynn! I'm sorry, I don't have much time. Please let me talk to him. I'm sorry, detective. I can't do that tonight. You can't be. Always let me talk to him before. Well, the telephone room is already reserved. That's why. Oh. By the way, is something going on with you tonight? What? Why do you ask? I got a call from one of the other detectives a minute ago asking about you. Oh, oh really? Well, I don't think it's anything important, Officer Bailey. Do you think you could keep this call just between us? Even if only for tonight? Well, I, uh... Oh. Well, I've got to go. I'll call you again tomorrow. Trace complete. Another phone number. Oh boy, well I guess I'd better call the detective division. Oh, we're on there, Bailey. What? Don't tell me you gotta report that call from Lynn. What else can I do? It's my duty. Just write down on one of the all important to-do lists. Then I can wad it up for you and throw it away. You mean you want me to keep quiet about it? Or well, isn't that what she asked you to do? Well, yes, but... That is a kind of special case for us. Can't you make a special exception by Lynn too? Ah, uh, special case, huh? alright, you win. It's a dude. It's a dude to the dumpy ass. I know what they think is special about tonight, but for me, it's only my night. Lynn is on the other end of that telephone line. I'd better hurry. Fucking murdered again, Lynn. I swear to God. Lynn, Lynn. Oh, why well, couldn't it have been me instead? I'm no use to the police officer. It should have been me. It looks like she's dead. We'd better not touch her. Who did this? Who shot Lynn? This time. This is literally the third time in two hours. Excuse me, mister. You're just gonna sing the whole No Doubt song or just... You talking to me? This room. There aren't any other exits besides this one, are there? Do you see one? Huh? Then how did... We must have... We must have one of those mysterious locked room murder cases on our hands. One of those cases where the murderer vanishes in a thin air in a vacuum. Let's go find a real detective. I'll keep watch here. What a terrible turn of events. So now a locked room, murder. Eh? Things never get dull for our redhead. Now have a certain inspector who might dance around at the thought of a mystery. But no mysteries for me. Not when I can rewind time and talk to the victim herself. Guess it's time to go back and see the truth behind this murder with my own eyes. Hey, Lynn. Haha, <laughs> I died again! They'd be a little more grave under the circumstances. Yeah, well, this is the third time after all. It's scary what a girl can get used to, don't you think? Frankly, the way her mind works is a whole heck of a lot scarier to me. So what happened this time? Who shot you? I don't know. What? I'd like to know myself. Who could have done it? Who shot me? 
What are you asking me for? Oh boy, guess I'll just have to find out for myself. Okay, you just could do that. Hurry along now. I get the distinct impression I'm being used here. Okay, looks like it's time to go back. Back to four minutes before your death. How long has it been since I looked at, locked this room up in darkness? I thought the truth could be discovered in darkness. Maybe it's just that the time wasn't ripe. I really like the way she tucked herself into that. <laughs> Man, the animations in this game is no are nice. I don't like the sprite work all that much, but you know, they were working with limited resources. But fuck me, the animations are good. Hiding the incinerator and you get shot from that. Does she shoot herself because she's an idiot? That's true. Did a ghost do that? Did one of those guys that I killed just come back to Rube Goldberger like that? That's the truth behind our lock room murder. So the murder was a mechanical murder machine? Murder machine. When I came to the room it was pitch dark so I turned on the light. That must have been what set it off, the murder machine I mean. Can you please stop repeating the words murder machine? That old pitching guy must have made it, but why? What would be the meaning behind this weird room? Anyway, I'll we'll have to find some way to stop that creepy machine. Once Cupid fires his arrow, it's all over. Yeah, um, I should rephrase, Kate. I don't think it's bad sprite work. But I wish that they had more resources. You know what, Sissel? I think the death might have been easier to prevent than the others. Why is that? You know, because the murder is mechanical. There's a point, I, can I can't manipulate living creatures, but I can manipulate this machine. Now I just gotta figure out how to stop it. And four minutes ago, me turns on the light. That's when the murder machine is set in motion, apparently. Looks like the key is to solving this one, is understanding the Rube Goldberg machine. Wow, they actually used the term that it was. Good for them. Oh, I guess I'm over here now. I mean, it's more just a booby trap, Strudel. Than a sentry gun. Sentry guns, I feel like, uh... Uh, automatic. They have, like, a camera on them, they sense something, and then they go off. Not so much as you trip a thing and then eight things go off and then you eventually die to bullshit. Like she's wandering through an Egyptian tomb. How'd you manage to cram yourself into that tiny elevator? I always like small cramped places. When I see a hole or crevice, I always feel like crawling in. The place I feel most at home is that space between my bed and the wall. No, booby traps can be anything. 
Are you thinking of landmines? Because a landmine could definitely be a type of booby trap. Yeah, I guess I can understand that. Ah, oh, we're birds of a feather. We should get together and talk about it sometime. That superintendent, I'm so glad for us all alone. German strudel. But I'm happy to explain this stuff. <laughs> Clarify for you. So about telephones, in the four minutes of four world you can can't just use them at any t old time, right? That's right, only when it's being used to make a call. Maybe that call just now is a good opportunity. Seems to me, there's a fine line between good opportunity and our only hope. Which one was that f phone call? Um, it seems to be I have no idea. Wait, why? Why do I have to use the phone? Hey Toasty, how you going today? There it goes, the murder machine has started. But I can see that, I have to do something. But what can you do? There's nowhere to move from here, you might as well just throw up your hands. And don't give me that a uh, ghost doesn't have a hands bit. Let's figure, it's just a figure of speech. Looks like I messed up somewhere. Apparently I was meant to go to the precinct? I don't know how that helps me. Oh fuck me, I have to wait so long. I should have just talked to him, but it's too late. <laughs> too late. I don't know if it's faster going through all their dialogue. Close. Very close. I translate literally the self-shot system. I mean, like, that's kind of what a booby trap is. I know, to me, the first thing I think of when I think of a booby trap is, like, you're walking through a pyramid and then you step on the wrong square tile and then a bunch of arrows shoot out of the wall at you. Or, like... Indiana Jones, he takes the weight off the the treasure, the treasure off the, the pedestal, and then the giant boulder comes down to crush him. That's also a booby trap. It's all over, it's all over for me. Lynn, sweet, cute Lynn, who shines as bright as the sun, ran away from me. And then those detectives matching bookends blue and green yelled at me. And then the old man with a dirty blue dove on his head completely ignored me. If only somebody would give me a kind word about now. You wanna give him a kind word, Miss Bright as the Sun? Um, let's see. Hang in there. That's all you've got? I'd like to see you do better. He's pathetic. Alright, how does this help me? Lynn ran away, the detectives yelled at me, the old pigeon man ignored me, and the kettle nearly scared me to death. My life is in complete shambles. That's gratitude for you, we're just trying to warn him with the kettle whistle. Would he prefer getting scolded by the steam? Or at least his fate was changed a bit, and that's good anyway. <laughs> fate changed. I made him get less burnt. 
good. Goes the metal machine has started, and the whole thing plays out, the gun on the wall will go off. Before that happens, it's up to me to use my ghost tricks. There must be some way to disrupt this domino effect. You just have to find it. Here it goes. I just make things worse. I uh, I don't think this I don't think this is right. I think I did the thing. Alrighty. It's that cheeky little cupid who fires the arrow. But wait a minute, that swinging shovel. I wonder if that can be used as a weapon somehow against Mr. Cupid. I guess I'd rather rewind the clock up again and see if I can pick up any other clues. This is neat. I like the like three second time that you straight up get. I mean, it makes it super trial and error, -y, but that's okay. Anything that I can get. Where does this ball go? So I could go this way. Let's try and do this. Do anything? Oh, it does sweet fuck all for me. Yeah, the checkpoints are nice. They're meant to like catch the show. Okay, okay, balls there. Hey, that's pretty good just now. Maybe if we want a putting green. Oh, with a swing like that, maybe you could put it into some use here. Good thinking. I just might be able to use this trick somehow. I could change the path the ball takes. That's great and all, but it looks like we're all out of time this round. Yeah, like the fact that it's trial and error is fun. Puzzle. You just get to just redo it straight away. I needed to move the hoist. Fuck. That's too slow. I needed to move the hoist so I could get back over. Now I'm gonna be uh, too far away, I think. Oh, no, no, I made it. Sweet. I assume that I can reach the hoist. No, I cannot. I need to get back to the ball. Okay. I'm not sure what the hoist is doing. But, uh, I'm sure that will become apparent.
<laughs> that was weirdly simple at the end of the day. Get shit on, Cupid. What has happened? Looks like your future has got a whole lot rosier. Your death has been erased. Again. I, uh, thank you. You kept your promise, didn't you, Cecil? My promise? You said I'd see you again if I died. I don't remember making any promises. It's all for my own benefit anyway. What could this room be all about? Hmm, I can't imagine. Those things that went off at the end, those were party poppers, weren't they? Party poppers. I have no recollection of what they are, but that's not surprising. The party poppers, the gun going off, it seems familiar somehow. I'll leave that part of the puzzle to you. I have my own puzzle to figure out. Oh, shall we go back now? Back to your new present? Happy birthday. Thistle, are you there? Lynn is talking to me? The more that I save her life, the stronger that her connection with the dead becomes. I literally am just making Maya. This is actually Misty Fay. If you're there, could you say something? If you're not there, I guess I'm just a weird girl who talks to herself. Well, you are kind of a weird girl, whether you talk to yourself or not. Oh. You are here, I knew it, I just had that feeling. Too many for stepping foot into a girl's head uninvited. Wait a minute. Don't give me that a ghost doesn't have a feet has a feet bit. It's just a figure of speech. Hey, I didn't say anything. There, yeah, that tone. It's that tone of yours that makes me mad. So you have something particular you wanted to say to me? I thought I'd share some information with you. I'm investigating a case right now. A murder case, and I'm doing it alone. A murder case, all by yourself. Yes, well, that's because the case was closed a long time ago. The culprit is already behind bars, forgotten by the world. So why are you looking into it then? Because I think the person's innocent, that's why. There's something strange behind the case, some big mystery, I firmly believe that. So anyway, I finally have my memory back. I'm not at liberty to tell you about the case. But if there's anything else you want to know, I'll try to answer what I can. Lynn is my only lead. I would like to ask her a few things. Why can't you tell me? I'm dead. What code? I don't even think that the that doctors have that kind of code. Not share the information with the dead. You have your life and your memory back now, so let me ask you again. Who shot me tonight? Yeah, I thought that might be the first thing on your mind. What else would it be? Your shoe size. There's a good chance I was shot while I was with you, after all. I'm afraid, my memory just isn't clear on that part. Not clear? I met with you tonight, and then you fell down right in front of me. I think I remember seeing that part. I'm pretty sure you were shot, maybe from somewhere far away. So you didn't see the culprit. I'm sorry, I wish I could be more help. But I know I wasn't the one who shot you. Your colleague seems to think you're a suspect, though. Yo, well, he's a dick. So why would I shoot you before I got the information that I needed anyway? Information, huh? I wonder what info I had for her. By the way, I see you have a little roommate. Amelia? How do you know about her? There's a tiny incident at your apartment a while ago. An incident? What kind of incident? What happened? Is Camellia alright? He's fine, thanks to her lo little loyal friend missile. Although I did have a little trouble bringing him back, him back to life. Oh my! What in the world's going on? Why would anybody want to hurt Camellia and Missile? You're being targeted by a certain organization. What? I saw them. The people who were calling you their target? I'm a suspect and a target? Could this night be possibly any worse? It does sound pretty rough. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Huh? You know what they say, when it rains it pours. Isn't it time you admitted you need me and my powers? I'm sorry, I can't cooperate with you. Yes, you saved my life tonight. I'm really grateful for that. But as a, as a detective, I still can't trust you. That's too bad. 
That's some important information that you wanted, huh? That's right, you called the station yesterday, and you also talked to me. You told me that you had an important lead on the case I was working on. Important lead, huh? You said you wanted to meet me and talk to me directly tonight at the junkyard. And you fell for it? Even given how fishy it sounds. You're the last person I want to hear that from, you know. But I just couldn't let it go, no matter how shady it seemed. It's because I'm running out of time. Hey, that's right. You said something was going down tonight? Is that something after the case you're working on? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Oh boy. I guess I understand. Side note, when's Andy's thing? I know that I asked him in the Discord and then he answered, but I, uh, I didn't do the maths on when 13 hours was. So what are you gonna do now? Run, I guess. They'll catch me again if I don't get out of here. And I have to get to the restaurant. I'm worried about Camellia. Three hours and a bit. Oh yeah, what was it? The chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? Three hours, 17 minutes by chance? Hey, Druk, how you doing today, buddy? Why, you, Sissel? What are you gonna do? I know, to tell you the truth. You only lead if you leave. I just realized you and I are in the same boat. We're both looking for answers tonight, neither one of us has anybody to help us. That about sums it up. Except I keep helping you. Hey, even if you can't cooperate with me, how about if we just agree to use each other? Is this some kind of sex thing? Yeah, I'm doing well, Druk. It's not a bad idea, you're on. But can I ask you to do me a favor for me first? Oh, you mean apart from save your life three times? What's that? I need you to sneak into a certain place for me. A prison to be exact. Prison? It's the place I was calling from the office upstairs. Why don't you go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow? Work schedule for a prisoner? Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. So just go check out a certain prisoner's blackboard, huh? Okay. His prison number is D99. If you do that for me, I'll cooperate with you. Okay, you're on. Can you, like, just carry a tennis ball over to a phone for me, then? Okay, see you later. See ya. But don't die again if you can help it. Seriously, if you could just... You just take me to a phone. It looks like I held the key to the case Lynn is investigating. And she holds the key to solving the mystery of me. So we've started up a strange relationship of cooperation. Lynn gave me an assignment. My task is to go check out tomorrow's work schedule for Prisma D99. I'd better get to the prison. Nine oh three p.m. It's taken me three hours forty-five minutes to get through two hours of game time. I think this game may be a little longer than 12 hours if you read everything and fuck up as much as I do. Lost Memories of Self, a forgotten murder case, a dead guy and a detective join forces to find out the truth behind them both. The detective assigned to the dead guy a task, to sneak into the prison and find out a certain prisoner's schedule for tomorrow. What should I care? I don't have a schedule for tomorrow, that's how I'm feeling about it at the moment. I mean, Lamp clearly survived more than a day, maybe there's some rules around it. Also, seriously, she couldn't just take me to the other side of the fucking room. I wonder how that detective who keeps dying is doing. I hope she's still alive. I hope she's pretty pleased with herself, keeping so much of the Reaper's attention focused on her. That little lady is waiting for her at the kill kitchen kitchen. Chicken kitchen. After I take care of this assignment, I'd better head there too. It's all over. It's all over for me. Lynn, sweet cute Lynn, who shines as bright as the sun, ran away on me. Uh, yes. 
Yes, I would like that, Kate. That would be nice. And then those detectives matching bookends blue and green yelled at me. Oh, Forget about that. Now you listen to me, kid. Yes, sir. You're bright as the sun, Lynn. Probably doesn't even know you exist. These detectives will probably yell at you your whole life. Never mind fretting about every little setback. Enjoy your life. Get what you can out of it. Mister, you mind just leaving me alone? Peace. I wouldn't mind doing it for more than three days, but I literally won't be here on actual Halloween. <laughs> That's when I can finally go and see Becky again. So, how are the preparations coming along? I think they're taking care of them right now. Yeah. Man, I'm not looking forward to this. That kind of surprises me coming from you. I didn't know you thought about such things. By the way, that was me being sarcastic, just in case you didn't catch that. Two more hours and then it's time. I guess we should just get back to work. Yeah, I guess you're right. The atmosphere sure seems tense. I guess I'll get back to my work as well. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in the cell. His prison number is D99. Alrighty then. How do I get to these cells? Better try to get some information here first. Quick time! The screen shows rows of tiny rooms. The rooms are really, really small. Which memo? He got the memo out of the bin. Nice. And this is the memo for him to not tell on Lin. Hey, Bailey. Do I pin up your memos a little bear next time? Let me see this thing. Inspection, prisoner C74. Oh, it's almost time for that. I'd better prepare. Prisoner C-74, eh? What did that big whale do anyway? You don't know about the Metro Police Department siege case? Metro what? C-74 barricaded himself into the Metro Police Department and took siege to the place. He even pointed a huge flamethrower at the Chief Commissioner. Why the heck did he do all that? That's what the detectives surrounded him asked too. What are your demands, they asked. And? The guy looked confused. I thought about for a while and said, Bring me five servings of curry and rice on the double. Curry and rice, that's it. Unfortunately, no, after he was done eating, he torched the commissioner's office with the flamethrower torch to good. Important documents in the commissioner's mustache were destroyed by the flames. What the heck did he do all that for? Because the curry was too spicy, he said. Huh? It was too spicy and I just lost it, he said. Seriously? He sent shockwaves throughout the country. Well, does not make any sense in the first place? How do you charm guy make it all the way to the commissioner's office alone? Complete mystery. What? Why didn't they just ask C-74 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently it's all a matter of national secrecy. Oomph. Don't throw it, don't throw it. Uh... Would you go throwing my important duty memos away? This one. Hey Bailey. If I press that. It's gonna throw me in the bin. Now I can press it. What's the matter? You can't even pin a memo properly. Let me see this thing. Take prisoner C38 to the telephone room. Yes, he's made a request for that. You already told me that earlier. C38, eh? What will that punk do anyway? You ever heard the story about the secret rendezvous case? Secret who what? C38 
was a singer in a band. This group was playing a concert that was being broadcast all over the country live. Right in the middle of the encore, there was a huge incident. Huge incident? What? Was it? What was it? A murder or something? In a way, it's even worse than a murder because it had to do with national secrets. Ah, oh, national secrets. A rock band. I'm lost. The song they were doing was called Secret Rendezvous, while the lyrics C38 was singing were completely different from usual. So how is that secret a huge incident? The new lyrics exposed all of the nation's dark seamy secrets. Budget misappropriations, foreign economic strategies, illicit dealings, everything. He's caught red-handed in the act of leaking national secrets. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense in the first place. Out of rock singer know any top secret information. Complete mystery. What? Why don't they just ask C4A himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Depends on a matter of national secrecy. Oomph. Ah! I like that he has sweat stains. Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? Alright, let's go. Goblet. Ah! The other one doesn't even notice. There you go again, fooling around with that thing. I feel like I have a series of tubes and Bunsen burners on his desk. It wasn't me. Don't lie, you know you love to scare me. Would see me jump up and prepare for an emergency. Oh yeah, sure, way back when I first got this job. But I've had enough of that now. Besides, you always react the exact same way. Yeah. The emergency switch is probably just loose. Probably because I fooled around with it too much. Well, that's for emergencies. Don't play with it. Anyway, it wasn't me. Maybe you ought to get it repaired, huh? His behind does look really suspicious, right? Yeah, these things, Kate. The, the, the white bit behind his goblet. And then the brown thing to the right of the white bit of the tubes. Look closer back up, it's making me feel on edge. Nah, too much of a pain. A pain? Proper emergency procedures are pain to you. What a sad, sad state of affairs. Duka, night vision goggles. Oh, it's meant to be a card house. I see. Oh, that could be a card house. Just the kind of excitement I need to wake me up. I told you, save for emergencies, don't play with it. And I told you it wasn't me. You know, I thought this work would be a lot more exciting. Sometimes I don't know which one is the real job, going on rounds or building houses of guards. Well, you'd better know. And you all know that I'm just kidding. Ah. something with this now that the thing's open? I oh, no. Please don't read it again. Please, I beg you. Um... Eh. 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 Mmm.
Who's rooting for him right now? Oh, how fancy. D99, huh? Even if I know about this one. Yeah? Such a sad case, hard for us too. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. This awful. Why in the world did he do it? Why would he do something like that of all people? The mode of everything is all complete mystery. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't make sense that he would do anything like that. I know the details, but apparently this case is a matter of national secrecy as well. I don't get it. None of this makes any sense. You do know what kind of prison this is, don't you? It's a special prison built just for these kinds of special cases. That D99. Who knows what he's thinking or hiding behind the beard of his? I don't like any of it. I knew I couldn't take my job seriously without getting it without it getting to me. So the prison I'm looking for, D99, was convicted of murder, huh? And he apparently has a beard. You quit throwing away my important duty memos. Go to the new one. It's time. Man, that guy likes his job. Oh, good. Okay. I thought the I thought the heroin killed you, Sid. There, it's done. New info. Excellent at building sturdy houses of cards. I'm guessing that's the kid that they were talking about. The one who sang the national secrets. If he's a prisoner, he must have come from the cells. This is the thing that was making that horrible noise a second ago. I guess it's a way for the spiky-haired youth to express himself. Sentiments like I'm hungry or I'm thirsty, maybe. Something primitive like that, I bet. I like that to him it's literally just a baby communication machine. Peace out, I'm done. Alright, C48. That shouldn't be his voice. Alright, C38, back to your cell. Hey, god man, how about giving me a little space? That crazy walk of yours is dangerous, man. A proper walk for a properly led life, now let's go. Yeah, no lectures, man. I walk my own path, my own way to my own music. Why do you have a guitar in prison? Who allowed this? A battery powered electric guitar. So I finally made it to the cells. Now to find prisoner D99 and check out this work schedule for tomorrow. What could Lynn possibly want with that information? Damn! Don't think I'd take another second in this stinking pit. Looks like Godman is gone. He's got an entire fucking studio in his cell. Why? All this waiting has wiped me out. Hope this one will finally do it. Go, go, go! Come on, sausage head. So he's talking to somebody in the outside world, I'm guessing? Hmm. This prisoner obviously isn't the one I'm looking for. Prisoner D99 has a beard. 
There's one of those little blackboards Lin said would be in the cells. Maybe you should check out Spikey's schedule for tomorrow. Go, sure, dude, why not? So this is one of those little blackboard thingies that Lin mentioned. Let me just give it a little read. Tonight, I lost a lot of things. My life, my memory. There's a certain skill I've apparently lost too. I can't read! And see there's some kind of writing on the blackboard, but I have absolutely no idea what it means. If I can't read Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow, what do I do now? Copy it somehow? What am I supposed to report back to Lin with? If I tell I couldn't read it, she'll kill me. Actually, I guess I don't have to worry about that one too much. Anyway, might as well try to find Prisoner D99 cell. I think I'll at least be able to find out something while I'm there. Can't go back to Lin empty-handed. Of course, the ghost doesn't actually have hands. You did the joke that she hates. There's a pad of notepapers hanging on the wall. There's a red O drawn on each one. I think it's some kind of letter or symbol, but I don't recall what it means. That would be a naught. Also not helpful. I can try and do something with the light. I, oh, I can just reach over this fucking phone. God damn it. This telephone. Looks like it's an internal line only. It doesn't call outside the prison. The only places I can go with this telephone are other phones within the building that I've already possessed. So I could go back to the guard's office if I wanted to. Hmm, an emergency button. An emergency in a prison, that's gotta be a pretty bad situation. I'll just give it a little try. Yeah, no, that double kick. I just... I'll never make it as a drummer. I caused quite an uproar, I guess, and I bet each prisoner reacts differently to the alarm. It might be fun to watch. Let's see, if I want to change my view, I can slide the screen. Or press the B. Maybe their behavior will give me a clue about my next step. Is the one getting the notes? All clear. Good time. So if I sound the alarm, it gets people moving, huh? Maybe I can use their movements to get around myself. That way I can get an idea. What's going on in each cell? favorite room in the game so far. I can't set the alarm again? I feel like I should have, um, probably gotten into that piece of paper, huh?
was probably a note saying like, hey man, that wasn't me, this isn't the breakout. big chicken or turkey in the background by the way <laughs> that I just noticed by the looks of him this must be the curry lover from the police department siege case but never mind that where did he just come from what's going on in this cell anyway there's a little black body or two just to be safe may I better check the curry lover's schedule for tomorrow too and still realize that I'm illiterate Still can't read, but I'd better go check out Prisoner d 99 cell anyway. Maybe I can find some kind of information that might help Lin out. Besides, I want to see what this prison Lin, this prisoner Lin is investigating looks like. Oh, he's got a beard. I get up every morning too. Couldn't get on the end of that hook. Same thing here. Looks like this is just an internal phone too. It doesn't call outside. The only places I can go this telephone are other phones within this building that I've already possessed. That means I can go back upstairs if I want to though. Strange cell and the prison inside it. He seems to be enjoying himself. This is the last cell in this area, so that means this man humming to himself must be prisoner D99. According to what the guard said, D99, uh, even if I know about this one. Yeah? He sure his wife didn't eat right in front of a family member. What in the world really happened? Why is Lin so concerned about this prisoner? I don't know the answers, and I guess there's no need for me to know. I only have one objective, and that's to find out what this painter's work schedule is for tomorrow. Photos, huh? I wonder if these are of this family. One looks like a young woman holding a baby. Their faces have been blotted out with black pain. Did you do it out of hatred or some other emotion? Thankfully that's not something I need to know right now. I'm sure I'll never need to know it, it's fine. Can't read. Newspaper articles are worthless to me. For the work schedule for tomorrow's prison for tomorrow of prisoner D99, the information Lynn's looking for should be written on this blackboard. Unfortunately I've lost the ability to read. But here I am anyway. The least I can do is take a look. Huh? What could this mean? There's nothing written on the board at all. I think something is written on the blackboards of the other prisoners, but this board is as clean and blank as the day it was hung there. So I have the answer Lynn was looking for. Tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99 is nothing. Does this information mean anything to her? It's not up to me to know or care. So I feel at the moment anyway. So he's meant to be dead by tomorrow, I'm guessing? Not being able to read. I was wondering how this was going to turn out. Some things in this world can be read even without being able to read. Prisoner's D99's work schedule for tomorrow is blank. 
I better get this inf important information to Lin as fast as I can. Dinner. Quite a feast tonight, I see. Oh, and I'm absolutely crazy about this chicken. Too bad it's all cold and hard, though. I'd say it's been about two hours since it was cooked, judging from the way it feels. D99, I know it's kind of pointless to ask. But just the same, I still want to know, why did you do it? I agree, it's pointless to ask now. My case is colder than this chicken and has been forgotten by everybody, myself included. Detective jowled. Now then, let me eat in peace before it gets too cold to cut. And Hearthstone starts in 45 minutes? Is that right? So close to perfect. Hell he is. There's one more thing I've been wondering for a long time. What's that? Who's the man in that painting? Oh, this. Well, being in prison like this, you start to forget faces, you know. So I paint the face that I don't want to forget. And this is the last of those faces. No streams on? Eh, that's worthless. Now, could you leave me alone for a bit? Let a man eat in peace. Okay, sure. Sorry to bother you. That painting's me. What in the world? How well could this mean? Why is there a painting of me in this man's cell? Can we make him choke on his food so we can talk to him? Who exactly is this prisoner? The man whose case Lynn is investigating is painting a picture of me in his cell. I have to go see Lynn first, and not for my sake, not for her sake, for mine, to solve this mystery of me. Game start in 30 minutes. I have no idea, Sophie. I've never seen it done in real life. I feel like it's just a thing for the pictures. Telephone doesn't connect to the outside, and I've got questions I want to ask Lynn. I've got to get to a place that has an external line and fast. I mean, that's not that hard. This is headquarters. What's the status over there? Oh, Chief, it's you. They're making preparations now, no problem, sir. How much longer, then? One hour, sir. I see. Carry on, then. Oh, one more thing. Inspector Cad Cabanella wishes to speak with you. He's got bare feet. What kind of monster is this? Evening, Cabanella here. How you boys doing? Inspector Cabanella, fine, sir. You got another little call tonight, didn't you, from my baby? It's just decoration because people don't like looking at bones? Why don't you just debone the chicken then and make it infinitely better anyway? Because fuck bones. All bones. Get rid of them. From Lynn, ah, well, yes. Did my girl have anything interesting to say? Ah, uh, not especially. She hung up almost immediately. I see. Next time she gives you a buzz, be sure to let me know right away. That's a good fella. Yes, sir. You try to cover it up and I'm sure you um sure you regret it very much. Very much. Yes, sir, I'll call you right away immediately. Don't forget she's a fugitive after all. Yes, sir. Carry on then. I might pop in a little later. Yes, sir, looking forward to seeing you, sir. I got a new phone number. 
Lynn should be heading for the chicken kitchen now. But the call from a police headquarters intrigues me too. It's looking pretty obvious right now that white suited inspector suspects Lynn. And she's considered a fugitive. This is not good. I wonder if I should go check in on the chief and the inspector in white too. Inspector Cabanella seems to be looking for her too. Your Lynn, I mean. Inspe Inspector Cabanella. For the special investigation unit of Lynn. I know, I guess something happened that we don't know about. Deny of all nights. Inspector Cabanella must be upset tonight too. Weren't he in prison at D99 and detected Jowd good friends? You sure about that? If they were such good friends, how come an Inspector Cabanella never came to visit him? He's had a special investigation, he's a very busy man. Oh, poor Carter. What's wrong? Jad was my hero, you know. I wanted to be a detective because of him. Well, look at me. Rotting away in a place like this and I can't even do anything to help Lynn. What am I doing for my life? This new side of you is kind of endearing. Anyway, the thing to do is work at fixing what you can little by little. Like, for example, you have some cards that collapse, you know. Ugh. has not said anything, so if you what are you talking about? And if you're just looking through the viewer list, then I'm gonna be annoyed at you. Preparations seem to be going smoothly over at the prison, eh, Inspector Cabanella? We were just a little too late. So close, eh, Inspector? We still have a little time left, Chief. Not much, but some. We've had Point X around it all night. If he shows up, we nab him, and we can still make it. By the way, what's going on with that other case, the junkyard murder? It's a dumb Twitch thing where cows aren't lurkers. Just let him lurk then. At some point, it's not on Twitch. It's on people to not just be a dick. She did a. No question about it. She's a bad little baby. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Disappearing from a scene like that. Wonder where she ran off to play. What did he just say? He did it? Did I hear that right? I think they were talking about the culprit who killed me. No way. I just don't believe it. Why would she do a thing like that? I don't really get the point, House. I'm talking generally, not this specific case. In general, it's a dick move. Thanks for those, buddy. Breed, I don't have the answers for you, Chief. I don't want to believe it any more than you do. And yet... After seeing this, maybe we don't have a choice but to believe, baby. Is that the security camera tape from the investigation unit just delivered? I can't deny some pretty solid evidence against her. Evidence? Good puppy. Nothing like it, baby. Why am I at a case now on such an important night? It's just, I think you have that wrong, Chief. Murder case now for the very reason that it is such an important night. Before I go find Lynn at Chicken Kitchen, Sounds like there's an important piece of info here I shouldn't miss. Pretty solid evidence, he says. This I have to see. But it's funny. Why do I have this bad feeling about what's on this tape? I'm 
Vegeta's gonna play it. Sweet. There's a dog or a bear. One of my friends has a dog that is very much like that. Fucking giant. Let me see. What are you talking about? That's a bear. That is 100% a bear. That's a boo-boo right there. Movie time, oh boy. The junkyard where I died had a security camera and it captured the moment of my death perfectly. And what the tape showed me was the cruelest truth imaginable. A red panda is a type of bear, isn't it? But no, it looks too chubsy to be a red panda. But a Pomeranian isn't a bear. Also, if it was a Pomeranian, why doesn't it have five tails? I saw myself shot right before my own eyes by Lynn. That goes my only lead. I feel like I've died all over again. One thing sticks out with me, though. Lynn looks so surprised on that tape. What in the world did I tell her? I, really, I thought the red panda was part of the of some kind of bear species. I love red pandas. Literally number one animal to me. Like above gorillas, above cats, above toucans. Red panda, number one. Above otters, that probably is my top five there. Those are pretty good animals. What in the world did I tell her? The truth is the truth, no matter how many times you watch it, Inspector Cabanella. It wasn't me who played that tape just now, baby. Oh, by the way, Inspector Cabanella. There's something on that tape that troubles me. And what's that, chief of all ears? I look at all the photos of the crime scene as well. The place where the victim was shot and the way the body was found is clearly different. Hey, that's right, that is strange. That man in black is the one who kicked me downstairs. But I changed his fate, so he should have been out of the picture. But there I am, down on the lower level. Turns out no matter what, my body gets kicked. Okay. That's the fate that I have. Aileron... Aileridae are uh, in turn part of a trichotomy within the broad superfamily Mustelioidae. It also includes the... Raccoon. Oh, that's why raccoons are so cute. They're related to red pandas. And a group that further subdivides into skunks and weasels. Man. That is a cute family group. The solid, solid family group. Are the answer for you, for you, Mr. Right here. A few minutes after the murder took place. Oh, thanks, kitty. Dick. Is that a black cat? You got a baby. Furry feline messed up our crime scene. Then that little cat corpse vanished into the night. Hmm. Looks like my destiny of being knocked downstairs is very hard to alter. This is point X, come in, Chief. Chief here, did he show up? Uh-oh. 
Uh, no, sir, not yet, but. Idiot, who'd you stay off the radio when this was important? But, but this is important, sir. Somebody else showed up. A rookie, Detective Lin. Wow, you see my baby over there, do ya? Ed, she was on the lamb. What do you want me to do, Chief? What do you see, Inspector? Detective, get my baby away from Point X. Do it now, man. And then hold on to her. Yes, sir. I'll go get her now, sir. What's the meaning of this? Why would Lynn show up at Point X? It took a special investigation until Unit 6 months to pinpoint that location. Don't know, Chief, but I'd say it wasn't a coincidence. Perhaps. What happened, Detective? Come in. Now what, what happened this time? Get damn it. This calls for a telephone call to Point X. Allow me. I know, a lot of his moves are Michael Jackson he has. He's like a mix between the two. Except less obese and less of a pedophile. So Lynn has shown up at some point X. But I thought she was on her way to the chicken kitchen. What's going on? One thing is clear, something big just happened. Oh, for fuck's sake, yes, I'll make it back how it was. Fine. Look at his fidgety feet. Going to town, rubbing his shins. What are you doing? Get your buns over here! What did you say? I finally understand. I finally know what it's like. Poor, poor hungry customers who have their food deliveries delayed. Excuse me, but this is the chicken kitchen, is it not? Whoa, am I talking to the police? The police did something happen there you need assistance with. Something happened here, you ask? More like there's nothing left here, I gotta go. Wait, wait. The fuck was going on over there? What's going on? Something, that's what. Something's definitely going on. And that something is far from nothing, that's for certain. Thanks for the tea, Chief. I'll be on my way. You going to Point X? Point X, AO, leave that to the boys. There's someplace else I gotta be. Inspector, you being there isn't gonna change anything. Why put yourself through it? I have a responsibility, I'm gonna see it through to the end. Sides, I'm not quite over yet. Right, that's true. Do what you must then. Prisoner D99 schedule for tomorrow's blank. It seems like forever ago that I found out that I found that out. And now my mind is even blanker than that blackboard was. Lynn, my only lead and my partner shot me. What did it all mean? I knew where I had to get go to get my answers. Some kind of foot STD, I think is more likely, Kate. The chicken kitchen, the point X the police have surrounded. And a place where something big just happened. What will Lynn be involved in this time when I find her there? Probably dead. Probably dead. Would be my guess. Herpes of the toe. But I think what I'm gonna do because Andy's thing is soon and her thing's about to start. I'm gonna watch those and then I'm gonna do some of this in in the daytime tomorrow and then we'll finish it in the night. Again, I only I only have these two days to get this game done for it to even be near the Halloween period. So uh We'll do that I think. Thanks for watching everybody. So if you like the stream. Uh, the next stream that'll show up, I don't know when it'll be, but it'll be this game and getting through it. Unless Kate tells me otherwise, like, hey, there's six hours to go, you're all good. 
Uh, yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a good day.